we're live. Hey, but this is a test. Thanks. This is a test of the emergency Mega 64 broadcast system. The internet in our area is down. Hello. Can you see us? Hello, am I live? Are we digital? F word. <laughs> Why if we, we are live, I can't curse within the first five minutes. If we're not, though, <laughs> if we're not. Yeah, I that, say all kinds depending of, on what you heard means all if kinds it's of crazy live or not. stuff. Yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. Uh, if this isn't live, I'm going to unleash a torrent of fury and filth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Might even slip a slur in there. Oh, oh whoa. Whoa. you never know. Dude, dude. Oh, I've heard some words in my Lord. time. I, I would hate to hear them, in to these, be honest. In uh, these 23 years I've been on this planet. <laughs> Yes, I've that sounds a curse or yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. Some slander, some swears. Oh, Doctor Ryan just subbed. Thank you. Oh, wow, thank wow, wow. Um, can they see us in the chat? Are yeah, we, are we what's good? the chat saying? Is I mean, this, you're is not getting out there. I don't have the chat available to me. No. Oh. Yeah, the chat is. They see us and hear us. How we have zero upload speed. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, we're defying all logic. <laughs> it's like in the new Ava movie. It's not zero sync ratio. It's infinity. Mm. So we actually have infinity, infinity upload. upload. Yeah. We're in HD. We found that Miyazaki-esque hidden portal of internet. Mr. Yes. Mr. Frogger's internet connection. I love that. <laughs> you remember that Miyazaki movie about the magical internet connection? The, yeah. The frog yeah, that him. hooked it up. Yeah. Well, do we want to try to, to start the show? And then... Yeah. If we look it doesn't good. make hey, our good. tests are saying it shouldn't this look This is good. what's going to happen. Well, if we go live, we're going to keep rolling. Yeah. What's yeah. that? When we start the podcast recording, we're just gonna keep rolling, and we're not gonna stop for shit. Yeah, that's what I was gonna ask. Do we yeah. cut it and then come back? Or? No. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. Well. Oh, I see what you're saying. That's what Johnny. Because yeah, yeah, we'll be start like, it when you get free porno at your mom's house. If uh, you change the channel and go back, it yeah. might be scrambled again. Yeah. We might have stumbled on no, we'll, secure. Ah, this is all. What, what we're gonna do <laughs> is we're song. Gonna, oh no! Wait, we haven't started the show. <laughs> we're doing it now. Welcome, everybody, Welcome to the Mega 64 Welcome. podcast. Uh, this is the main show. Welcome well, to arrived. the new year. Was That's that a right. song? Or? Um, it was a little bit of a song. <laughs> there was you, a song in his heart. You you gave there up? was like an Imagine Dragons song, but then I couldn't quite remember how it goes. I don't think it says Welcome to the oh, New no, Year. It's Welcome Take to the new, new what? Age. New Age. Fuck. We're Welcome starting to the new Yep, age. starting the new year with an Imagine Dragons song. And that's how Can't I wait. closed it. You know, I, I was blasting Imagine Dragons. If you start the song Imagine Dragons, yeah, that was, um, yeah the great song. By Imagine, Imagine Dragons. Dragons. <laughs> I feel at, like it was at 11.58. Oh, what when, happens at midnight? Uh, a sick ass bass drop right oh, when the ball drops. The way you sang sick, it, bro. I feel like it was true to Imagine Dragons. They don't know if they're <laughs> yeah. singing or not either. No. A little half ass. Yeah. They give up. Really Welcome like, to the new. Pretty unsure age. about themselves. Yeah, that sounds right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this mm -hmm. checks out. This is the Mega 64 podcast, everybody. <laughs> the number one video game podcast yeah. on the internet. That's yeah. Cr that's crazy. That's it, for how many years running? I mean, oh, shit, God. 14? At least, uh, 20. 20, yeah. yeah. 20, two decades. Yeah, 20 years. And with we've the highest upload the, speed. We've actually answered the third decade of Mega 64. Is that true? Yeah. The, the oddies, decade that, number one. Okay. Whoa. The teens, yeah. decade number two. Oh. And we've now entered the 20s, decade number three. The roaring 20s. Whoa. Three decades of 64. Revolutionary. Yeah. Being yeah. brought into your life. That's yeah. crazy. It's a lot when of When will it all end, I'm afraid to ask? Soon. <laughs> soon. I've been running the news, and it's not looking great. So, oh, yeah. yeah. It could be soon. Yeah. Could One of us gets taken out. They could all collapse. Yeah. Like that. Shit. Yeah. N well, let me just point out, Kevin's not on camera tonight, so... Oh my oh, God! The beginning of Dare the, we talk the about the Kevin controversy? The beginning of the crumbling. Kevin is on a mission to see if he can get a new variant <laughs> of the pandemic disease. <laughs> is that what he is has? Saying? No. Transcended <laughs> borders and common sense to travel. I, <laughs> he's traveling the world right oh, now. Man. I feel yeah. so yes. bad. Believe it or not. No. You know what's funny is I feel like the news. So Kevin left. He is in the UK right now with his wife. Well, who? I don't know. I lost tabs with him. He could be in Beijing. Well, I don't know. Yeah, he could, he could be in you know Right. I don't really <laughs> yeah, know where he, he is. Dubai. I but they've been playing this trip forever. And when they left, 
I was on the yeah, go for it. I mean, I yeah, sure. It wasn't and then that the bad, news has changed so much since then. In, in just a few weeks. In just yeah. a few yeah. weeks that I honestly am thinking like next week's podcast, I may be back on the fucking green screen. I don't know what's gonna happen. So yeah. <laughs> you guys <laughs> But now he's over there. He's over in England. Like, how do you get back? Is that a Kevin, scarf around your neck? He got, no, it's a mask, bro. Back. I heard he got the uh I heard he got the Mr. Bean vaccine. So Kevin, he's good. I know he's watching. So I'm going to criticize him. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good. To, to his face. Yeah, to his face. I know he can see Never you behind right his back. Now. Yeah, we know yeah. he can see you, bro. Here's the problem with Kevin. Mm. Yeah. He's the type of guy who tries to fit too much in. Yeah. Mm. He tries uh. to put, now I visited Texas, so I'm going to use a Texas figure of speech. Mm -hmm. 10 pounds of crap yeah. to a five pound bag. Or wow. into a five gallon hat. You either one, either, either one. one. Whichever they, you want to take. They say both so not only is he traveling the world, but the last time I saw him, was like walking out of the Matrix Four. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who goes to see the Matrix Four on the day hey. they're doing international travel? He was like, "Oh, good movie. All right, guys, I gotta they, go to the airport." He Bye. literally <laughs> did. Straight from the they oh. oh my god. They told me, uh, "Hey, I, I want to. Hey, I want to because I think quick, it's, yeah. I can't do that. I need like a day <laughs> in like an isolation chamber. Yeah, just to get plane. your brain right. Yeah. yeah, just I'm gonna be flying in let, 48 let, hours. Nobody talk to me. Hey, I'm kind of in that mindset too. I mean. Hey, for the Matrix, I would have done it. Sure. So maybe that's a bad example. It was for but, your birthday. He does. Yes. Maybe it was just for the love of Rocco. Yeah. Well, maybe. But I will say, yeah, normally, like when we fly back, you know, there's a lot of times we go out on trips yeah. and then there's like the day we fly back and it's like, oh, well, you know, our flight's not till five. We could go to this museum. We could do this thing. I'm never in that mindset. I'm like, I'm done to just go to the airport. I'm done. Like, yeah, that like, is true. That day, I'm like, just ch let the, me check the, the bags whole in. The day and <laughs> is dedicated to the airport. Yeah, yeah I'm just I'm not yeah, checked out. Slipping the Matrix 4 in. <laughs> yeah. But what I was going to say about that was he told me that I think like a month or more ahead. He was like, hey, this was legitimately. Kevin was like, hey. Plan things out with Rachel with our trip. I think we're going to be seeing the Matrix Four and then going right to the airport. He did I was like, you. "Oh yeah," he's like, "That's what you're doing, right?" Like, I'm assuming for your birthday, that's what you're doing. I'm like, "Yeah," and he's like, "All right, we're going to be there, and then we're going straight to the airport." Now, okay. Sean, like he he meticulously planned. Yeah. He made his it travel. <laughs> Sean and Garrett. Yeah. yeah. What did you guys do after the Matrix Four? Um, shoot, I went home. Same. And I relaxed. Yep. Until I, I had to come in to do the PPS. It was a. Uh, yeah, I don't think I did. There was much no the getting yeah. on a plane. The, 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 there were no passports. The idea involved. of seeing. First off, Kevin's like James Bond. Not only really a movie. <laughs> international man of mystery. <laughs> seeing you saw that movie, and then you drove straight to the airport and flew on a plane for like fifteen hours. Fuck that, dude. Yeah. You yeah. talk yes, about a mind you. bender. You know what it no, is? Alone you. with your thoughts after <laughs> that movie, guys. Yikes. I've got to figure it out. What? Kevin's fucking red pilled. We all sat in that theater like chumps took the blue pill. He's the yeah. one who's living his life right exactly. now. Exactly. He's living it. I he's out there. Mean? He's not he's got no fear in his heart. He's gonna uh, come back knowing kung fu. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> what are the what's the British kung fu variant? Uh, uh Mr. Bean Fu. <laughs> yeah. Kung Fu. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's right. That's it. Yeah, that's it. He got, got it. it. You guys got uh, it. Uh, they're, they're, the British, they have, they have stupid names for everything. It's probably like the old Kiki Wiki. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Back off. Hey, I yeah. know it. Hey. The old Kiki Wiki. Oh, I'm going to use some a little karate wati. <laughs> yeah, I just got back from the Chongers. That's what they call yeah. them. Yeah. The, the dojo. The, the dojo. The Chongers for the old Kiki Wiki sesh. Yeah, it's a little. I saw, and every move is called pudding. Oh, sorry, mm -hmm. I meant every dessert is called pudding. Never. Mind. I saw King's Man. It's just like that. Yeah. Oh, the I new think one. The one person for two, who for saw two that. hours. Yeah, is that good? Kiki Wiki. I heard the new one was real fun. None of them are fun. I hate all these movies. Why are you watching <laughs> all them? three of them. Yeah, I don't know. You, <laughs> I hate all these movies. You, you say guy that, but you, about, you come here looking like the latest first Kingsman of all, now. Yeah, but the yeah, fucking yeah. British. The British. You look like the King's Man. They're obsessed with buggering up the arse. Yeah, what's what? wrong with that? What are you saying? The first what's movie the has all these like. Uh, so it's twenty twenty one. It's dude. got all this. Uh, Get to the bad part. Go ahead. Be real careful. Go it's ahead. got all this uh, butt yes. fucking context towards okay. the end of it. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Well, it's not the Queen's it's, men. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, That's true. the King's That's, man. Damn, I should have saw that film. Come on. Garrett, it's in and the then title. in the second one, no, but like I don't know uh, what these movies are about. What is what it's are about? This guy, about? This We're guy wants to fuck okay, some hold on. prisoner it's girl about in the a group bars. of guys Wait, who do buggering. Yeah, no, they're it's the a, Kingsmen. They work for the British. I thought they were service. doing each other. They're not doing each no. other. No, like, the fuck. 
Come on, Sean. Real quick, real quick. It's like about super spies, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. And in the first one, he's like a young man who's he's he's privy to the new secret society of the Kingsmen, and they teach him how to be one of them. Okay. Super spy. Yeah. And then he's got to like save this the beautiful bird. You know what I mean? There's always a beautiful bird. Okay. 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 Yeah. Good action. So she's like in a cage, and she's all like, she's in a cage, a bird in a cage. Come save me after. And then he he shows up with a little bit of the kicky wicky. Yeah. He defeats a bad guy. Okay. And she's like. Come back around. I'll let you bugger me up the arse. Uh-huh. She says that. Yes. Really? No, she does yes. not. It's all about Is that a spoiler? arse buggering. <laughs> yeah. You are not you. serious. She's like, you could come kicky wicky this fanny wanny. No she says, cunt- she says, quote, you can bugger me no, up the arse. I got it. Hold no on. I got it correct. That's why it's no I got it. 13. Hold on. I, I don't mean to be. I, I, I'm sorry. sorry, but I got to correct some <laughs> oh, things that were said here move. that were not culturally appropriate. Okay. okay. Derek. What? Me? Uh, fanny over there is vagina. That is true. Yeah. So that is true. I'd be fine. Yeah, yeah, but we're yeah, he, but yeah, we were talking that. about the other side. No, he uh, I know. First that. base fanny? Fine. Why go straight to I said home she's plate? gonna invite the Kingsman to kicky wicky her in the fanny wanny. <laughs> yeah, I know what I, I just said. wanna make it clear though. Do a little bit of the old kung fu on my pussy. Yeah. Would be the American That's how they version say it, of it, but America. it sounds classier. Um, but this on new that one side it's, of the pond. That that it's sounds prequel. crass. I don't know. Well, all I was going to say oh, was I, I haven't seen any of those. <laughs> Before movies. the ass play. I'm sorry, everyone. I haven't seen any of those movies. I, know, I don't like spy stuff, but yeah. I, I always heard they were kind of fun. And then I heard this third one was like about the horrors of war. Oh. And everyone, everyone I know that saw it was like, yeah, I don't know what they were thinking with this one. You know, there's a weird twist that you don't see coming. That's like, well, you told us. War is actually yeah, fun. you told us. It's door <laughs> that, number two. And that is a no, huge that's twist. the first <laughs> film. In the you want to know what really happens like out there? The war zone. <laughs> so the second one was like a direct sequel to that. They go deeper. Yeah. And it got stupid. Like Elton John's in it. And yeah, why can't he be in it's, it? Because it's fucking stupid, Sean. It's okay. not even funny, Elton John. It's like dumb. It's like him and Lil Nas X in that goddamn DoorDash commercial. It's stupid. I haven't Sorry. seen that Wait, commercial. Is this this is what the second movie's about? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. I'm, man, I'm confused. And then yeah. the third one's a prequel. Oh, that was the it's third like, one. You guys got Ray Fiennes. Like he's mm. like the first is buggering. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> buggering begins. <laughs> the buggering begins, yeah. Oh, well, it's just there's not much there. You know, it's not much there. Uh, I thought I didn't care about spy stuff, but I've been watching. I watched all the Mission Impossible movies. Now the I'm seventh on, one just got announced. Yeah, and I'm now excited. Which oh. I can't imagine. How old before Tom Cruise you, gives up? You know what's funny is we <laughs> started. We like watched walker, one in the tour van on spy shit in the walk. We were where were we driving? We were driving from Dollywood to West Virginia. Yeah, we, we watched the ghost we watched protocol. Ghost protocol. I only saw the first and second one, and then the second one sucks. But I stopped watching. The third one's the best yeah. one. So then I got home and like you know what? Let's watch all of them. So me and Jane, the the big kids, we watched all of them. And yeah, they're fucking stupid, but I'm I'm enjoying the shit of them. Like, which one's your favorite? Uh, maybe the fourth one. No, maybe the fifth one. I don't remember. What? They're all the it's third all blur. One. The but one with JJ watching Abrams. all like the Tom Cruise like running as fast as he can. Like it's so much fun. Like this dude like likes to sprint. And apparently in his contract, he won't let anyone run next to him. It has to be just him running because <laughs> <Wait, laughs> they can't keep yeah. up with how fast he is. Yeah, it's I've great. heard he's a good sprinter. My legs. No, like, he's good. I've Six. heard. Oh, what? Go no, ahead. my legs are like like six to eleven inches longer than his. I'm guessing I, I could definitely sprint you know, faster. I, than I, I disagree. Part of me thinks if you run better than him, he doesn't want to look bad. That's why like he's got yeah. an ego. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I there was a girl. I think she was in the in the one we watched, Ghost Protocol. Yeah. Who was she? Like fought in her contract. Like I will run next to Tom. And then Cruise. she did. Ooh. Yeah, but I heard. <laughs> I read into this. So what he had her do was run on the treadmill at the highest speed for a certain amount of time to prove to him that she could do it and she could hold up to what he can do. And then she was able to do it. She trained for it. Oh. Yeah. Seems- uh, it's also fun to see what crazy shit is Tom who's going to do in this movie. Like, oh, he's going to yeah. really hang off a helicopter upside down like <laughs> 5,000 feet in the air. I'm watching this. Yeah, you know? it's almost become Tom Cruise jackass. It really has. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in. Yeah. And now watching Jason Bourne, which I thought I didn't care about those movies, but it turns out they're fun. Like, I'm into the spy shit. I'm all the way I, in. I remember being in San Francisco. It's so funny because today I was thinking about today was is the 15th, I think anniversary of the iphone announcement whoa like happy anniversary that. rocco and i remember being thank you wow. i invented it thank you um <laughs> and, no but i remember being in san francisco around that time because i i didn't really pay attention to that i was like right. eh, whatever phone who cares and then i was in san francisco around then and saw people using it mm. 
out and about and it was like, holy shit, I want one of those. Those are so cool. But it was around that time. I was just talking about this time today. But uh, around that same time, I remember seeing a line down the block at like the Metreon Theater. Mm-hmm. Oh, and yeah. It was, oh, yeah, because the third Born movies coming out. And mm-hmm. it was like I never heard of anyone caring about the any supremacy. Of these. Yeah, I think I, that was it. Yeah, is it. But Ooh, I, I, I never heard. I didn't know anyone personally that had seen them for some reason. I'm not saying yeah. they weren't big, but I saw the first one in theaters. I didn't really care about it. Oh, OK. Gen- I, I have a lot really? of people in my life very close to me who are like obsessed with Jason Bourne. They fucking love it. Yeah. yeah. So then I, like I, we watched them all now. I'm like, I get it. I get it. It's fun. Like it's a good time. They're not the best movies ever made. You can laugh at them. So who would win in a fight? Oh, Jason oh. Bourne or, or Tom Cruise. I'm glad you asked. Cause Ethan hands Hawk. down, <laughs> hands down. Wait, Ethan Hawke is fucked. Wait, no, no wait, <laughs> it's Ethan, 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 Hunt. <laughs> Ethan Hunt. No, Ethan, Ethan Hawke Hunt. and Hunt are both. Yeah. Ethan Hawke is going to bring his Gattaca <laughs> shit, dude. <laughs> Jason Bourne screwed. versus Ethan Hawke. That's a lawsuit. E- Ethan Hunt is not in shape to defeat. No, <laughs> no, no. Uh, Jason Bourne is going to win for really? sure. Really? Yeah. yeah. Uh, really? I'll put a, I'm going to put a poll out on my Twitter later. Cause I'm dying to know what people say, but I think it's gotta be Jason Bourne okay. for sure. Now, who's going to dismantle a, a, a nuclear bomb? That's going to be Ethan Hunt. Okay. But is Jason the, Bourne? Hand-to-hand combat. Dude, can they team up? That would Ooh. be sick. Is uh, is Bourne like a Tom Clancy property? I don't know. No, I don't think, so. I don't think so. Tom it's, Clancy. Uh, it's similar it's with that, though. Robert Ludlum. That's it. Wow. Okay. Good job, Derek. Wow. I used to work in a bookstore. They had to have oh, Very impressive. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, and now who's the third? Who's the guy? Jack Ryan. Oh. oh. What about him? What if, what if he comes in? Isn't that also Tom Cruise? Uh, no, Jack Reacher. Jack Reacher. That's Jack Reacher. Who's Jack Ryan? Jack Ryan that is the Tom character. Clancy. That's Tom Clancy, and he's used across a lot of different movies. Oh, but right now it's John Krasinski. Uh, right now it's John Krasinski. It was oh, at one badass. point. It was Ben Affleck in uh, Some of All Fears. Yeah, at dude. one point, it was Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford. Yeah. What? Clear and present danger. Yeah. He's Jack. That's Jack Ryan. Ryan. Yep. Huh. I had no idea. Me so either. what if all the Jack Ryans got together and Jack know. Ryan verse? Guys. Yeah. This is going Ryan to be verse. in the multiverse of madness. Dude, okay, I yeah. Know. <laughs> Check I saw this out. Blog. There, it's like that Jet Li movie, The One. There can be only one Ooh. Jack Ryan, and it's Harrison Ford versus John Krasinski oh, yeah. versus uh, who else do we say? Uh, Tom Cruise, Ethan Hawke. <laughs> Throw Tom Hanks versus, in there. Uh, Ted Kaczynski. Yeah. yeah, Unabomber. That would be scary. They've all got scary. a gun. Yeah, obviously, but every gun only has one bullet. So. Which Jack Ryan are you going to shoot? Yeah. Uh oh. The longer you wait, the more likely you are to be the last one. I think. What about Jack Bauer? Let's get him oh, in there. Oh, shit. Get him in the mix. You don't want Kiefer in there. I know you don't. He'll fuck that up. Yeah. Yeah. He, and I can, I've also finished all 24. He does this thing where he like puts people to like a chokehold and puts them to sleep. Oh, yeah. But he always Classic. whispers in the air, go, don't fight it. Don't fight it. It's don't so weird. It. Hmm. Oh, no. he stole Keeper. that from Solid Snake. Yeah. Oh, yeah. he says that and yeah. it rubbed off. And then he I gave it back that. to Solid Snake later. Oh, oh then that rubbed off. Solid Snake. Yeah. Oh my God. Uh, now that you've seen all of 24 yeah. and Mission Impossible and Born, I think we yeah. found your genre. Yeah. I don't even know if it's my genre. I don't I think. think, uh, <laughs> I don't think not it tell is. you. It is. <laughs> Crime is out. I think we found it. I also watched all of Alias. Does that count? Oh, yeah, yeah. dude. Yeah. It's all the same shit. I know. You like spice stuff? I like spice stuff too. That's cool. Yeah, you know what? I haven't ever Check really James given Bond. James Bond a chance Check to it be out. real, but maybe. Really? Like yeah, really. You've never seen? I've seen. My uh, brother used to be really into it. I've seen a couple like the 70s ones, but uh, I haven't seen like anything. The, what's the the one that the big 64 game was based off? Golden Goldeneye. Goldeneye. I never saw Goldeneye. Goldeneye. No. Dude, Sean, that's the next movie club. Okay. You're going to love oh, Goldeneye. Goldeneye. Okay. Goldeneye is going to blow your mind. Okay. You're going to wish you could be in the 90s all over again. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And okay, then, cool. And then the rest of the Pierce Brosnan ones kind of suck. Yeah. Yeah, I was for whatever reason I never liked James Bond. I saw a couple old ones. Yeah, same here. One of the Pierce Brosnan ones, I don't remember which one. I didn't really like it. And then I saw Skyfall, and everyone told me that was like one of the best ones. And I was like, Skyfall's awesome. But I'm a fan. Yeah, I didn't hate it. I just was like, and as a fan, there's definitely a ton that suck. Yeah, (laughs) especially the old ones. Yeah, yeah. But they all have a certain level of charm, even when they suck. You know, they got cool gadgets. They yeah. got sex pot babes. Yeah. James Bond is going to, you know, seduce. It's yeah. cool. Yeah. It's cool. Guns. Go. Yeah, guns. Cars. Yes. Yeah. And gadgets. And gadgets. Fuck yeah. I was going to say babes, but the three Gs are a little better. Girls. My thing is horror oh, movies. It works. Yeah. I realized. <laughs> I realized the other day, and this is probably not going to shock anybody, that I 
identify closely with horror films. Okay. Yeah. You know, I really, I don't know why I was thinking about this. Like, what's my thing? Do mm. I have a thing? And I was like, I really like horror movies, but I feel like I don't present myself like the typical horror person. movie buff. Yeah. Like I'm not a freak, you know, who <laughs> yeah. like dresses in all black and has like Dracula. Ta- like look over at yeah. Garrett. Yeah. I don't look like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, not uh, hey, today. I'm actually, a fucking, I'm an artist. Yeah, you look today. very hip today. About? He's the king's Beat man me. today. You look like, uh, <laughs> hey, I can dig that, man. Whatever you're yeah. putting down, I got not you. Not to insult you, but you look like somebody who's into no, horror. No, there's a horror, horror dude aesthetic, which I really fucking hate. Oh. <laughs> there's the guy that's just like, you know, you know, I, it's not that what I What I'm hate talking it. about. But I know yeah. what you're talking about, and I know yeah. that doesn't fit you. Yeah. Uh, I shouldn't say I hate it. But the horror dude is like the dude in the horror screen printed T-shirt. It's two colors. It's red and white. And he's got a battle jacket on, which he's sewn all his metal band vest, uh, like pins and button patches all over. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Long hair. Okay. Um, Like a bandana around his boot. A he bandana on his boot. Okay. You know, he wears boots. <laughs> yeah. You are, but Garrett, you are so close to describing yourself as scary. What That's are you what saying? I'm saying, Garrett. <laughs> this is the Garrett yeah. look. Garrett, Garrett, what are you saying? Like the, I'm the, saying. I've seen you wear a jacket <laughs> stuff on it before. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying like this is a very like typical yeah. horror guy oh, look. But, but you I said you hate like it. I, but sometimes I look like that. I know. And I, <laughs> I feel self-conscious. Okay, I think okay. I represent the different kind of horror fan. The, yeah. The nerdier, more reclusive horror fan. I watch anime, but then I'll turn it off and put on, you know, a slasher flick. Yeah. It's a little uh, Tom Savini classic. Yeah. And, uh, I don't, you know, I dress like a little goofy nerd, but I like watching fake blood. Toolbox murders. Stuff. Yeah, I don't know exactly. Yeah, I don't know what I would be. That's a what is sports my sports dad? It, am, no, because I'm not a sports dad. Like you look but at like you the, look like one. You're do I though? But see, you love spy stuff, so you're like undercover sports dad. I just feel like I've seen sports dads that like pick up from kids' schools, and they are like not what I look like. They do not wear like I don't know. I just feel like they they just like have like their like um brewery t-shirt oh, you know yeah. and like they like you know it's like that. i'm not yeah. that's not who i am i think rocco now we'll go to rocco you've got to figure it figured out mm-hmm. yeah everybody knows what you're into mm-hmm. perfectly yeah and you know they can send you a walmart leather jacket we know that's you're gonna like that they can sure. send you Penske moving truck socks. We know you're going to be into that. Oh, you figured your thing out. Uh, speaking of that, uh huh. What kind of yes. socks you got on? Um, I'm gonna let me move my uh, sweatshirt <laughs> out of the way for a second <laughs> we, because what? legitimately, this is not a joke. Because the, the man knows I got, himself. I got a very special present from. I have Ooh. to say, I have to say this, Johnny. I ha- can't help but notice while I've been on vacation here, you redesigned your office a little bit. You now have a Wawa pennant mm, on your wall. Yes. Very nice. Unfortunately, I'm Team Sheets. Oh, I, got, I legitimately got a uh, get. This no. was a package I got from Sheets. You got a Sheets package? Yeah. Wait, they're sending this you packages. Sheets. How did Sheets what single you fuck? out? We were all. Yeah. I went to Sheets. We yeah, I ate chili cheese sheets. fries. I, I, I got bike, diarrhea too. I had. I, had <laughs> I did vocalize how much I didn't like Sheets. I had, to, be, to be fair, I had a fairly. I had a fairly viral tweet about uh, Sheets. I've had so many viral tweets, yeah. and nothing has gotten me a so shirt. Not one. You shirt. know, you're doing. You're doing maybe like Shang Chi numbers. Are you doing yeah. Endgame numbers? I, I I'm had doing one numbers. that was like, and it like blew yours but out Sean, of the water. To yeah. bring it back. Rocco has it dialed I in. Know. They take one look at Rocco and they're like, this guy isn't, he's iconic. Yeah. Yeah. You Thank were you. at Sheets and Thank you had a funny tweet, but they're like, is this guy a sports dad? Yeah. Is he who not? the, who like, the fuck is this joker? Who, what, like said. who is this? What is this persona? You can't figure me out. We don't know. You know, I got Yosemite logo on my hat and then I got a Team USA jacket one day and then the next yeah. day it's, a, you know, who fucking knows what but I'm But I about? think I you need guessing. to own, own it. See, that's what I'm trying to do with this whole conversation is own it. Yeah. I'm not your typical horror fan. Mm-hmm. I'm redefining horror fan. Yeah. I'm the Derek kind. Yeah. You're the Sean kind of sports yeah. dad, I yeah. guess. Yeah. You uh, like the sports aesthetic. See, yeah. But not the culture. And I'm yeah. the Garrett type of um, horror mm-hmm. fan. Yeah. Or Which okay. is just the typical type who sometimes no, guys, looks very artsy. I think I've, I've, 
I lean into the grunge roots more than anything. I could see that. Yeah. I agree with That's that. That's my 90s Definitely. first impression, I think. Yeah. It was like the okay. grunge scene hit me so hard. That's and, a cool scene to be into, by the way. So I'll branch off of that. Yeah. I, if I could pull that off, I would do that. But yeah, that's what a sports dad would I'm say. I'm also into like that. <laughs> yeah. That's a sports true. dad reply. <laughs> Fuck. Even, even this, I'm into like the wizard and fantasy. So maybe it's like horror mixed with just fantasy. Yeah, fantasy. You like fiction? Stuff, oh, here. fantasy because then you also play D and D. That works. That's true. Okay, like a fiction I'm, head. A lot of self discovery on this episode. You know what? You do of a lot of like podcast reading. You read? Mm, do you read yeah. fantasy books ever? I actually despise fantasy oh, books. Oh shit! I actually hate yeah. them. <laughs> well, funny, you know, I've, t- I've talked about that before. I don't know what stuff you normally read, but it's funny, you know, because I know a lot of people are like, do you read? I don't read. And I'm like, no, I read a ton, but it's all nonfiction. I read a lot, but it's always about like a subject I'm interested in. Like, mm-hmm. oh, shit, the fucking when they built this, there's a book about Denny's. OK, yeah, I'll read that. That's yeah. interesting. You yeah. know, but I, I yeah, when it comes to like a fantasy, I love for me, my biggest thing is sci fi fantasy, you know, whatever. Yeah. Like, I love that. I don't read books of it. I I don't um, engage with it that way. I read, I actually love science fiction, but for whatever reason, fantasy, I I can't, because there's so many rules when you do a fantasy book, you have to make up this whole fantasy world. Like, okay, so in this world, the trees are blue and they they grow when (laughs) it gets really hot. Uh, but this girl can control the temperature. And I'm like, I don't care. Like, yeah. You're just <laughs> you know, making uh, all this up. Yeah. Legitimately. Yeah, I don't yeah. give a shit. And this is, I think, more of an insult to me than the genre of fantasy. Yeah. But I cannot read fantasy because I get so confused with the names that I get yeah. checked out. Yeah. They're so close and they're so weird. Like, I mean, the obvious example is like Sauron and Saruman. Like when I'm reading this book, I'm yeah. like, I don't, I'm out. I'm already out. Like, <laughs> Arwen, Arwen, Arwen is like, yeah. Aragorn. Like, uh, fuck, just use, use Earl and Beth. I got it then, but I can't handle anything <laughs> else. Yeah, say. yeah. I know. I, I know. actually, I was talking about this with somebody because I didn't read Game of Thrones, but I'm fascinated with the show. Sure. I loved the show when it started. Yeah. I feel like it was so good because, uh, George R. R. Martin said he kind of based it off of history mm. more than just like making up this fantasy story. He sure. took like the hundred years war and then added fantasy elements. Oh yeah. The, the black dinner is like the, oh, cla- yeah. the classic example too. Yeah. You know, what, so, the red, the red wedding. wedding. So I feel like yeah. the historical element kind of made it more believable. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Huh. So yeah, yeah, it lends an air of, uh, I, I don't know. I know I've read other, th- or I've, seen other stuff like that where it kind of lifts from things and it I, always makes it feel a little more. I will say though, for, for people watching, if you're into books, I did, I have been reading like Terry Pratchett books recently, which is kind of like hitchhiker's guide. Mm. How that's a sci-fi book. That's yeah. funny. Yeah. Terry Pratchett's like fantasy books that are kind of funny, but hmm. he has like 80 books. I don't know if I could do 80 of them. That's a lot of books. Ooh, all in a series. Oh, maybe like two. They all take place in the same realm known as it's a place called Disc World. So it's like oh, flat earth. That sounds awesome. Disc what's <laughs> what's actually really interesting okay, about I it? I think is, I traded in DVDs. Though. Dude, he wrote <laughs> That's funny. He wrote so many of these books that Disc World goes from like a medieval era into like an industrial revolution cuz after a while he's like I'm tired of writing about Yeah. horses and sh- I want to write about cars and factories. Yeah, so yeah. he just like progressed it along. So um, that kind of was interesting, interesting to me. There was so much there. I was like, oh, there's a whole world. Derek, what you just described is what, um, <laughs> as a kid playing the Final Fantasy games, that's what happened with that series. Yeah, it's kind um, of similar to that. Yeah. Final uh, Final Fantasy is always different stories. They're not connected. Yeah. But they were always fairly like medieval, you know, like, okay, dragons and, you know, whatever. And then they would add a little more. Sometimes they'd add a little more technology to it. Oh, they've got an airship. Oh, they've got, you know, whatever, a, flu, a, a, a mechanical castle thing, you know, whatever. But then Final Fantasy VI, w- around that time, it was like the same thing. It was like, yeah. hey, we're tired of doing the same thing. And so that game was about, it's like the Steam Age, and no one remembers magic. And then there's like remnants of people who like do, and they are trying to resurrect like a, a, like a fucking like, you know, dragon or whatever. I love that. And it was dude, as a kid that blew that blew my mind more than any movie or anything I had ever seen was just like it was almost like they were discovering remnants of the old games. You yeah. know what I mean? And it felt like, whoa, this shouldn't exist. Like, I love it was the really idea cool. of like the world gets old. Yeah. And the magic just kind of stops working. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. 
I say no, I totally. I yeah. say I despise fantasy, but I feel like I always want to like a fantasy book. I just sure. can never find one that yeah. like, captures my imagination. Right. Yeah. So if anybody has a recommendation out there, let me know. Recommend me something short. I can't read yeah. a long book. It's funny that you mentioned all the Hobbit and Lord of the Rings stuff because mm. I, over my break, uh, I got the, they released a 4K box set of all the Hobbit and Lord of the Rings movies. Nice. And they're in, it's like an unfold, like a thing, it like unfolds Dang. and they're in their like books, book one, two, three, four. Oh, like wow. they're in there. It's really nice. That's cool. How many movies but is that? Six. six. Yeah. Hobbit, Hobbit trilogy. That was a trilogy. And then Lord of the Rings okay. trilogy. And so it was like, <laughs> okay, so I popped in, felt, I'm like, no, I'll watch them in the order they came out. Sure. You know, like you should. F fellowship and I'm, I'm watching it and I'm like, no, you know what? Chronological. Yeah. I was like, you know what? This box set numbered them that right, way. Right. Fuck it. I'll start it that way. And I've been, I've made it. I'm at the end of the Hobbit trilogy. Wow. And man, I haven't revisited those since they came out there. It's hilarious because I really think that like, oh man, people are not kind to those movies, the yeah. Hobbit movies, but yeah. Watching them now, the the first one is a, a fun movie. I like it's, the it's first. It's a good yeah. movie. Yeah, I do. like the song. It's so like funny everything. because I really don't think there's bad actors in, or and I don't mean actors like actual like actors. I really think everyone's doing their best in two and three. Right. But it is crazy how much you get to the second one and it's like fuck, stall, stall him, stall him. We got to make another movie. Ah, um, shit. The kid lost his uh, weapons in this town. Uh, I don't think uh, they've uh, ever uh, uh, made a movie <laughs> based on a story where they're like, we already told the beginning of the story and we're not getting to the end. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, where do you, what are you doing? But like, I, I honestly have, I'm in, I enjoy watching like, there, like there's like, I love everyone that's in them. I love those characters. Yeah. There's nothing that I point to like, fuck you, you know, whatever. Oh, I got it. But gripe. it's just, what are we doing? It's I, like, oh, the mayor, see the mayor doesn't like that. These, uh, uh, dwarves showed up. Okay, they're at the mountain. Are they? Are they getting the gold from Smog yet? Have they beat Smog? Hold on, before we get there. Yeah, what's going on with the government here? Are they? Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> this guy's got gout. And then, oh wait, wait, wait. This el the elf woman. I think she loves one of the dwarves. Huh. What should we do? Huh? What were you gonna say, Sean? Uh -huh. No, I'm just thinking like, I. It's such a a shame. It was cool they got Peter Jackson back or whatever to do this. If they would have made one movie, yeah, I, one yeah. movie, it would have been. A long, it was legendary it was and it would have brought the it would have been a, a four. It'd been an awesome like quadrilogy. But yeah. I but I will but I will actually say I will actually split the difference here. Mm -hmm. I think they still could have made two good movies. Mm -hmm. I like if you cut out all the filler, there's good stuff in two and three. It's just they are like playing for time. Yeah. It's crazy. I didn't, I never even watched the third one. I, I oh still God. watch it. You nah, still watch it. Really? Nah, I watched the second one in theaters and walked out and like, that's it for me. And that was done. But I just, yeah, go ahead. I feel like on paper, they made six movies out of four books. Yes. So the yeah. math, the math just doesn't add up. Right. <laughs> nope. Uh, and that third, that third movie, it's just the last fight. It, yeah, that's it. It's yeah. it's called Battle of Five Armies. It's like, OK, mountains all clear, like the dragon's gone. Oh, we are going to have the, a fight over this. It's that. And then it's just like bullshit on either side of it. Yeah, but that's it. It's just that I mean, fight. if they had just put that at the end of a, a second movie, what really it did better. it was Harry Potter. Yeah, had the balls. And honestly, that yeah. book is long enough that yeah. it worked. They were able to take the last book and yeah. make two movies out of it yeah. and made yeah. an extra billion dollars. Yeah. So they yeah. saw that. Like, well, we're doing that, too. They Fuck got it. greedy. You yeah, know? for sure. I was they wanted that I gold was in the mountain. reflecting on this the other <laughs> yeah. day, how much I'm sick of Marvel movies mm -hmm. and the MCU. And we're honestly getting pretty sick of Star Wars, too. Mm. This, the SCU. Whatever. Yeah. SW well, that, I, I mean, that you. seems temporarily disabled anyway. Well, they're still making. They're making TV shows, but yeah, that's it. Yeah. Long story short, it's all because of Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings. Mm -hmm. Last generation of uh, teenagers, I guess when we were coming up in the early 2000s, those were the franchise films. And I feel like those kind of set the template. Mm -hmm. And it made me start thinking like, all right, I'm feeling burnout on the current generation of franchise films. What's the next big franchise gonna be do you think there is another one kingsman <laughs> yeah it's definitely the Kingsman. you're gonna get buggered again uh, for the I mean, fourth time they always like, seem to be based off of literature yeah yes. i mean dune popped off no, I, thought dune. That, I thought that was it could solid. Be dune. like that was you yeah. know yeah 
They Maybe. took a stab Dune, at it and it was good. There's a lot of Dune books after that first one. They could but keep making. Do you movies. think they get six films? No. I'm gonna I'm gonna say a franchise is five films or more. Okay. Okay. No, I think I think That's there's tough. I think they've set themselves up to do probably a pretty badass second one, and then I don't know after that. I don't know. Yeah, five or more. I don't know. The I books go on and on and on. Do Children they? of Dune. Fucking yeah, Dune yeah, Messiah. I don't think anybody wants But once that, you though. get to like a whole new cast, it's hard for people to get on board. You know? Mm-hmm. Like you need something. Even yeah. like when they did The Hobbit, you were back with uh, Frodo for a second, right? Yeah, there were connections. Like you, you started had, you the Ian movie Hall back. As, as yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. You, you started back in that time yeah. at Hobbiton. Oh, and fucking Gandalf is like in Gandalf. it too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But right. it, it yeah. brings you back I forgot. home a little bit and then you can go on your new adventure with some new people. Yeah. But sure. it's hard just to have like a brand new thing. Like, here you go. It's like, I don't know what the fuck this is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know what they do. I mean, Marvel and DC are going to still keep milking their characters. Hmm. Yeah. Do you, can you think, are, are there any, like, uh, I, I don't know if there are actually, like, beloved characters that haven't been made into movies yet, where you I, feel like, yeah, that's fucking five movies right there. Why haven't they Sitting there it? ready to go. Yeah, Ring yeah. Tin Tin. Oh, they did I that. can't think of anything. Uh, yeah, other than the Dune thing. that, But even that, they've tried before. I'm going to call it. Here we yeah. go. go no Stradaric moments. I'm ready. Uh-oh, I'm what so is excited. The future of movies. And it's already started. Oh. Mm-hmm. They're going to start licensing video games. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. You're going to get a Legend of Zelda film franchise. I think Nintendo... They're doing Mario. That's just the beginning. Becky was talking about that today. The He's beginning. like, why no Zelda? Why no Legend of Zelda? The next That'll era next. of franchise films is going to be Zelda. Do you think it's live action? Or do you yeah. think it's okay? I think action. they'll do live action Zelda. Okay. Yeah, but what, I, will that be the first good one? I mean, I just feel like they keep trying. You know, yeah, I don't know. But will they? But at some point, it has to work. Do you I feel think like. it will uh, be? Some of them a, aren't that bad. Yeah, I think they've already made good. <clears throat> the first Silent Hill film. I will still stand by. Yeah, as, I saw that. An I early video game it. adaptation. Okay. They yeah. just did a big budget reboot of Mortal Kombat, which that's now like three theatrically released Mortal Kombat movies. The first yeah. Mortal Kombat, I stand good? by being a good movie. Like, yeah. It was like a fun, good time. The first one was pretty good. Yeah, the first one's good. They want that to be a franchise. So, so bad. bad. Oh, so bad. I could feel so it. Yeah. Of course. They want that to be every two years another tournament. Oh, they mm-hmm. want just as many. They want a movie and a game to come out. Resident yeah. Evil's one always after the, the other. Mark. All the are, did all that the new Resident one Evils. miss the mark too? They, they all are <laughs> schlock. Yeah, which I find entertaining as a hardcore Resident Evil fan. But yeah. but no, they miss the mark. I, I I think that Nathan Drake, that Uncharted movie with Tom oh, Holland. Yes, they want to make that a franchise. Which, I yeah, bet. that's not gonna happen. I mean, you know, it, that looks terrible. I have a Dude, theory actually. Yeah. This is what I'm working on. New new theory about films. Yeah, making good movies is hard. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Hear me out. I'm I'm listening. Most okay. movies suck. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is this is what people on the internet they don't want to admit it, but Uh-oh. it's true. Most of these movies suck. I'm gonna say on average, I'm talking across the whole universe here. One out of every 15 movies is is legitimately good. Good, and that will hold like through the test of time. Like this yeah. is gonna hold up for like decades. This yeah. is a good movie. So you look at the whole Marvel MCU, you know, that's like two of those are legitimately <laughs> good. <laughs> okay. And the rest of them are pretty bad. Which two? I think there are a lot that people like, but like won't remember in you yeah. know. There's nope. more, I think, on a personal level. Like you personally like them, but the world will forget and not care. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm, I'm talking like too. like Black Sick. Widow. You know, it's yeah. like I don't think anyone hated but, it, but, but it's no one's gonna. You know, like 50 remember. years from now, this is gonna be remembered as a classic film. Uh, yeah. Two of those will probably get in there. Mm. Sure. Yeah, I can see that. And, and one of them is Guardians of the Galaxy. Mm. Oh. I didn't like that. <laughs> I did not like Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, that's yeah, that's, yeah, that's I think my and this is before MCU I really movie. dug my heels down on hating Chris Pratt. I saw I wasn't like a huge <laughs> fan. Yeah. Then whatever. What are the two best Marvel movies? Oh, easy, dude. I All got right, it right here. Lay it on me. Go for it. Black Panther, Shang Chi. Hell yeah! Only correct fast. answer. Is High five. five. I've not seen Shang Chi. Black Boom. Panther was really good. Black Panther was good. Hey, was. Black Panther was really good, and then I watched it a second time, and I was like, I'm good. But there are so many <laughs> things I said when I think I watched it. Like I liked the story a lot, and I thought it was great. But then they do things like, oh, we're gonna fight in front of a waterfall, and it looks terrible. Oh, you it's guys like, thought I was serious? The green screen looks bad. Yeah, like, buddy. Yeah, oh, you God. named him. Well, why the fuck? Well, give me all, an answer. They're all fucking popcorn movies, dude. Like. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't seen enough to really 
I'm with you, Derek. It's like there's the 1% that comes out a year that I'm going to go like, yo, I really liked that story and that movie that hit the bar. Yeah, if you see 45 brand new movies in a year, three of them will be classics. Yeah. I uh, that's, my, that's my new theory. And it's rare that happens now where I'm like, ooh, I think I'm going to be buying a 4K Blu-ray this year. Yeah, I, I buy like one of those a year now. I also feel like it's an you averages really. thing. You, you'll go a couple years where everything sucks and then you'll have a year where like five amazing movies come out yeah. all at once. It's true. It's true. Yeah. I don't anyways, know. Anyways. I've been thinking about it. You know why I was thinking about why? it? Because we just released it? one of those classics. What? Yeah, on one, Christmas Eve. Yeah. One of the, the good ones. One in the once in a 15 <laughs> movie classic. Think of the 15 movies you saw in 2021 and forget the other 14. Yeah. This this one right here. That's it. Yeah. Oh my God. That's our it. movie version four finally came out. Let's it did. let's let's talk. I can't believe we've gone the whole hour. We haven't even I talked know, about right? our own. Uh, shit. I mean, I'm good. We can talk about the tour. I feel we like kind of you know. <laughs> we spent kind of so We're gonna go yeah. another. I'm gonna crack open a cold one right yeah. now. Yeah. We didn't even get to games. We just spent it on movies. We're talking Shitty movies. bullshit. Shitty. 2021. We're not doing games. Oh, anymore. we're we're off yeah. games. I think we yeah. Pivot. Uh, it's called a pivot. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, we're just talking oh. about, um, I'm, our, my new blood podcast is going to be nothing about the movie blood and chocolate. It's all blood and chocolate. You're going to be a blood and chocolate that was a deep cut. guys from here on out content creator of Google chocolate. that movie. I think we just need to take a moment to pat ourselves on the back. Okay. We released version four. We did. Let's hear it. <laughs> we yeah. Did it. I Let's woke up it. the next day. It was Christmas day. And <laughs> I honestly felt like the, the forgot greatest, it was Christmas. Greatest gift of all was version four. <laughs> the weight off your back. Off my back. Yeah. Absolutely. I didn't have to. It's still weird to think that there's not some five year long hell beast project looming <laughs> over us. Like, oh God, when's that coming out? Oh God, are people gonna like it? Oh, uh, is it even good? Is yeah. it even close to being finished? Yeah, it's finally done. How many fucking meetings and oh my God, so much. It's, it's how much we, pre planning goes into something set like building that. and oh my God, five years so of it. much. And um, it's just done. I'm so happy. Yeah, Rocco. Yeah. What do you uh, want to say about it? Well, so we moved it to it really. <laughs> the thing that was really that sucked is that obviously we wanted it out as soon as we could. And then it was like, fine, this year it's happening. Let's set the far out date. Thanksgiving done. And we got to that point. It really was pretty much done by Thanksgiving. Like we yeah. pretty much for the most part, it was really pretty done. But there were, you know, it was the kind of thing where it was like, uh, there were so many little touches to just make perfect. It's like, man, if we, if we would have just had, you know, we had the tour. The thing is, is like we announced that the date, but we, the tour wasn't finalized yet. Right. So we had that kind of get in our way and it was like, you know, it would have been nice if we just had a little more time, but whatever it, it could have come out Thanksgiving. And I was coming in here every night, like staying late at night, getting it done for fucking a month or two, just yeah. every night, just pr- trying to whatever. And then, yeah, Derek, you came in one day. I think you expected us to have like a serious maybe argument or whatever, but you were like, you know, don't kill yourself to make this for Thanksgiving. Like we, I think we yeah. can, we set that date. We can, if it's going to be better, we could say any date. Like we can, and I think everyone will be okay. And I was like, yeah, you know, you're probably, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, we, right. we <laughs> then, set, so, uh, yeah. I'm a, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. The movie's out now. So yeah. the, yeah, we could drop the charade. Yeah, ah. yeah, yeah. We set the date for Thanksgiving and that we probably had like a hundred days leading up to that Thanksgiving yeah. date. And I would say maybe 50 or 60 of those days passed before we, actually started cranking on like hitting that <laughs> deadline. So well, I, was like, I, w- I was coming in like every day and doing something. Yeah, there on was it. like every, a lot of weird yeah. little things that you were doing that we weren't a part of. Yeah. When it comes to like, like, you know, you'll notice like in the video stuff like, well, yeah, I, what, what Derek is talking about is more like what we all had to work on. Right. But I was, was left, but I, in days that we weren't working on it as a group, I was coming in for like, you know, there's like skits we have like in the video, like there's, um, there's, you know, uh, an alternate take on what we did for like Untitled Goose Game mm-hmm. or Judgment or all these other games we did skits for. That's all extra stuff we shot over the years. And like only I kind of know where that was. So I had to go dig that up and I had to kind of it was a lot of like assembling things that, you know, it, it, Johnny wasn't involved in or, or, yeah. or, you know, you guys, whatever. So um, 
yeah, so it was kind of like b- going back and forth for a while. And then, yeah, it got closer and yeah. Sorry. I just, I, well, all I was just going to say, it became clear we were not going to hit that deadline mm-hmm. when we had spent so many weeks not focusing on it. Maybe there were things going on behind the scenes, but I felt like we were really going to have to come in as a crew mm-hmm. and sit in there as a group to knock it out. And that didn't happen until like just a few weeks before Thanksgiving. So then the conversation started turning into we're going to need to set time uh, aside to do that, to, to yeah. polish it off. You know, it's if yeah. it was nothing but version four on our plate, that would be I feel like we would have dropped the ball. Like I feel like, you know, because I, I was bummed to come out Thanksgiving. I was. But it was so much like all of the things that we were doing, like we were getting ready for the live show. We were doing like there's a thousand different things that like whether you saw it like a, the Hellfest stream or not. Because like, there was talk about even canceling the Hellfest stream just to focus on version four so we could yeah. finish it in time. Mm-hmm. But I felt like, yeah, but people love that. And it's such a fun thing yeah. that people love. Like, yeah. wh- why sacrifice something? Like, if you had to push it back a couple of days, people are going to be forgiving of that. And, be, you know, it, it, once it's out, it's out. Who cares? You know, so. Yeah. I'm glad that we did it the way we did it, honestly. Uh, well, all I was going to say was it really only needed so many, like what, Thanksgiving came. Like I said, I was coming in every night doing stuff that like, okay, we we all talked about we should change this and this and this. And I was coming in every night and then, yeah, we got to Thanksgiving. It could have come out, but it was like, damn, if we just had even like one, even like one more week, I think this would be in way better shape. Yeah. But because of the fucking tour where it landed, it was like, well, we won't, we're going to be on tour. We can't. So it was either have it. <laughs> It was either like either it comes out now and it's not as good as it could be or we have to wait a month. Right. And then we'll be off tour where we can actually. Do it. So that's why it ended up being Christmas Eve. Um, but as for like why it took so long in the first place, I mean, there's so many things that that, you know, and it made me so sad, you know, because um, that was the one thing when we watched it. We watched it finally for the first time. This was months ago. We watched it for the first time all together. You know, like in one timeline, here's the whole movie. And some of it was still rough. And I remember that's what we said when it was over. It was like, man, I really enjoyed that. I wish it didn't take so fucking long to come out. Like that was the (laughs) that was the one thing we felt was just like, damn, if that came out within like a year, that. Oh, well, um, let's pause there because I don't want to turn this show that everybody's watching into some apologies for version four. Right, no, right, right. Which <laughs> I consider to be a staggering success Hell yeah. Yeah. for us. So in regards to what you're saying, like, yeah. why did it take so long? Whatever. You know, the way I look at it, there were so many problems we had to solve making version four. Mm-hmm. I didn't realize this going into it. And I, I almost didn't realize it until it was finally released, reflecting on five years worth of creating this thing. Mm-hmm. It was our first crack at really making a movie. We had Mm. done a TV show, a public access TV show before, but we'd never done a movie. And it's just a different beast. Yeah. Yeah, Making one standalone thing, making a movie. And, you know, we honestly, when we wrote it, didn't do ourselves any favors because we're not in the dungeon or the apartment really that much. We are. I don't think there's a problem. All all I was going to say is there were so many challenges to overcome with creating version four. We overcame. Oh, yeah. Through a Mo- pandemic? I would say most of them. I would say no, most of them. Totally. And there yeah. were a couple of pro- there were a couple challenges we did not overcome. Mm. One of them is the length it took to make it. And a couple other things that I'm just a little disappointed with. But when I look at mm. it, I don't yeah. want to focus on the 15% of things that we failed mm-hmm. to accomplish because there were so many things there we did for the first time that we'd never attempted before. That mm. we were I think we learned a lot about making a movie, which to our credit is something we'd actually never done before Mm -hmm. and it felt like maybe we had because we had done versions one two and three Mm -hmm. but then we learned like this was kind of a different beast and i think we did a pretty good job um yeah well the and the the reason why i'm bringing up all the like insecurities and and uh the reason why i'm kind of front loading the the things that didn't work out so well was because all of those were still i was really enjoying it we watched it on tour and i i had a blast watching it um and uh you know, but all of those things were on my mind 
And even like, you know, like the length of it, I was like, uh, you know, hoping, oh, I have this be a fucking three hour epic. It's not, it's barely over an hour and it's the, all these things, you know, whatever. That being said, we, we also wanted to be the, the first YouTuber movie that didn't have two people talking at a table for 25 minutes. So <laughs> we, did, we did succeed at Enough that. Enough of that. But, yeah. but all of those things were in my head. And then it was Christmas Eve. And I was here and there were so many technical problems getting it onto YouTube <laughs> yeah. and all these things. And the whole time I was seriously having, I mean, I wasn't actually having a panic attack, but I felt like it, it was going to happen because it was like, fuck, none of this is working and they're going to all fucking hate this anyway because it took so long and it took all these things oh. were swirling through my head to, to the point where it was just like, I'm going to upload this and fucking walk away and not look at my computer for a month mm. and whatever. I hope they like it, but it is what it is. And I just want to say like, thank you guys so much because I put that on. I was literally out the door going to trying to go see my family for Christmas Eve, which is a whole separate story that I'll tell later. But, um, and I, I, I set it to stream and I was even kind of apologetic before I played it because YouTube wasn't working. I put, I played it on Twitch for people. Right, right, I right. was like, yo, sorry. I hope this works. I don't know. And people were so uh, kind and just like uh, I, I, the reaction to it was like made my fucking day. Sure. Like people were laughing at all the things I was hoping they were laugh at and oh, uh, just having a great time watching it. I think we looped it again mm -hmm. after it finished playing. And uh, that yeah. was like that that made fucking years of anxiety like go, like dissolve. I was mm -hmm. like, oh. Thank you guys so much. So I wanted to say thank you to everyone who watched it. Whether you were blowing smoke up my ass or not, uh, yeah. you don't need to tell me. But no. I really uh, was it was it was so rewarding. I'm putting happy that out. with the response as well. Yeah, there's some criticism out there. Sure, as there will be for anything. And that honestly, we'll you know, some of it is valid too. But yeah. I. <laughs> You're criticizing a movie we spent five years making <laughs> and hasn't even been available for 24 hours uh, and you're already ripping it to shreds. There, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Some of it was valid, but I did. I learned so much about what it's like to be a creative person Yeah, and to just create something and the amount of anxiety that goes into creating yeah, something yeah. and the amount of fear that goes into creating something. Honestly, so many people out there commented like, why did this take so long? Why did this take five years? Part of it was for me, I can't speak for you guys, but maybe you would agree a fear that it wouldn't be good enough that when it finally did come out, that people would say, why did this take so long? <laughs> so fulfilling. Yeah that, yeah. yeah, that almost, yeah, that almost. It, there were so many weird more. just being the person creating this thing and releasing it. And you do have these fears of like, I know this isn't good enough. I know this isn't long enough. What am I going to do? And you spend so much time trying to figure out a way to fix it. And then eventually you're like, I don't know if I can fix it. I'm just mm -hmm. going to put it out anyways. And then you get those criticisms <laughs> that you were afraid to get that you spent years delaying the project because you knew you were going to get those to begin with. Mm. But then just to put a cap on it at the same time, there are other people who just enjoy it. And then to get back to what you said at the beginning, you wonder like, well, there is a lot of people who enjoy it and I kind of enjoy it now. So yeah, I was afraid for so long and I was trying to fix a problem yeah. that eventually I didn't fix. Why did this take so long? Mm. And there was just a lot to learn about getting out of your own head, getting out of your own way. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, but also, too, uh, you know, some people might remember that we talked about this on here, but uh, we mentioned a long time ago, we promoted a, a GoFundMe for someone we knew yeah. <laughs> that was in version four. Yeah. Um, yeah. Who had a really unfortunate medical thing happen to them. And that was and now that you've seen the movie, we could say, you know, now, you know, him it was the villain of our movie. Yeah. Um, Stephen uh, H. King. Yeah. Stephen H. King. Uh, -huh. uh, himself, you know, uh, the, you know, there were things that happened that were just, I, I just felt like there was constant uncertainty on like everything, every aspect of it. There were um, a lot of different actors in this. It wasn't just Rocco, Derek and Sean yeah, in the garage. Yeah. So those actors and their lives and their medical yeah. conditions or pregnancies yeah. or right, there yeah. was, there were life things yeah. and the pandemic that slowed down the production. And also, episodes. you know, like you talk about a movie and like, and most independent people who make movies, like they get like, a crew like it yeah. was just still us. Hey, Johnny, what are you doing? Saturday? Right. Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We grew so, our crew yeah. over time. I'm happy. I can't. I have, I'm not apologizing. I don't no, want to no, have a no, negative no. thing here. No. I'm so stoked on version four. It took totally. a long time. I'm sorry. It took so long. No, yeah, but we learned a lot. And I feel yeah. like 
If you look at the filmmakers we were at the beginning five years ago versus who we are now, yeah. totally different group of guys. Yeah. It's funny because you, I think you watch the version four and I know what we filmed a month ago yeah. and I also know what we filmed five years ago. Yeah. And to me, it stands out like crazy. Yeah. Where it's would, like, not even how we look. It's just like the shots and the sets. Yeah. Like, oh, it's yeah, so much yeah. better and than these shots. We learned, to me, the, the biggest thing about version four personally, just what I take away from it is the lessons we learned about yes. filmmaking. And I maybe that's... To somebody watching out there, you're like, fucking great. What do I get out of the lessons you learned? Yeah, 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 sure. But I can tell you if the next thing we make, whatever it is, the next big project on this scale. Yeah. <laughs> it won't take five years. No, no, no. <laughs> it totally. won't take, because I feel like we've learned so many lessons on how to produce stuff. Yeah. yeah. I think if we were to go back and do version four again today, we would do it totally differently. Oh yeah, uh -huh. and yeah. and and I think the number one focus would be getting it done in a timely manner. Which yeah, yeah, we thought was the focus at the time, but we didn't know what we didn't know, and yeah. now we know. Now we know. Now we I know, know how to make version four. If I had to do it today, it would be done a lot it was, faster. It was a project we started as boys and it, we finished as men. Boys yeah, to men. We, we've built out just Mega sixty four in general so much over the five years of that. Yeah being you know in production yeah. yeah the patreon became a thing we started working and and making um th those live streams every quarter and you started up working here full time yeah like yeah. so much a lot of it was like oh, we gotta wait happened. for Garrett to be off you know, it's all this weird shit it yeah. used it's to like, be that way it's, yeah. it's some i don't know but i've been uh, i've been peeping the criticism and uh i'm honestly more excited about filmmaking stuff now than I have been in a long time. Now the version four yeah. is finally out and I can see yeah. the response to it. I feel fired up. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like, okay, people love it. Some people don't love it. Some people have some criticisms. Yeah. They want it to be longer. They want it to be made faster. They want it to be more cinematic. Okay. So, so yeah. now I have I'm, goals I'm to work on yeah. for the yeah. next project. The path yeah. is set. 100%. So the canvas is clear in front of us. Yeah. Now. I feel like both responses, positive and negative for this project, for something like this where it's so big and you've invested so much of your soul into it, yeah, I yeah. really am just trying to absorb as much as I can yeah. in, a, in a positive light. It, it is still something too that like we were able to make this thing and mostly because you guys help us so much like, you know, whether it be the Patreon or buying a shirt or whatever. Yeah. 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 And you know, we put this thing out for free, which I thought was a crazy move, but you know, that's what I thought we owed to everyone. But like in, it has like over 30,000 views and like, Oh shit, it does already. The average person, yeah. if they put out, a, yeah. a, you know, an hour long movie or whatever, they, no one would give a shit. And the fact that we got 30,000 people to watch yeah, that's it. Yeah. It's so I didn't know awesome. We put out, you know, we put out Todd and Aaron a, a week or two after or right. whenever that was. I've lost track of time, but sure. you know, and it's that, a week later. Yeah. And that, that's got hundreds of thousands of views at this point. Yeah, and I'm really stoked thousands. about that. You know, and some, I, I did have some people reach out to me. It was like, oh, are you mad that like your movie doesn't have as many views as that? I was like, no, no, this is so much more of an involved commitment. thing yeah. and a commitment that 30,000 people like and YouTube doesn't just give you a view for like you clicked it and then you left. Right. Like you got to watch a good chunk of this shit to count as a view now. If 30,000 people are watch this weird movie we made. Yeah. I'm, I'm over the moon. Yeah. To and me, like I said, that's the a huge success. Yeah. The feedback I got was so it was so nice. And like, again, I, I mentioned all that kind of stuff ahead of time. Because really, that's what was swirling around in my head. And then what, what people told me after it came out and how they all, what seriously meant the most to me was the stuff that was like, oh, we had a Christmas get together and we watched that movie. Oh, uh, you know, cool. or, you know, me and my cousins, we always do a thing on Christmas Eve. We watched the movie and we, we watched it a second time because we wanted, we were quoting it and, you know, whatever. That, oh my God, that made it worth it to me, regardless of anything else. And of course, a lot of people, even without having seen it, pre-ordered the Blu-ray of which it. Which is also um, so kind. Which you're going to be, let me just say ahead of time too, you're going to be taken care of because very well, because there's a lot on that Blu-ray. Because not only is it going to have the movie, a shitload of behind the scenes so stuff, of much. course. But then there, there's also going to be like an archive of all the like public game experiment kind of videos that we've done over the years since version three. That'll be on there. So it's kind of almost like a new time Blu-ray. Well, so like all you got to say. Yeah. Fuck the time Blu-ray. This is version four. Oh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. If, you got, if you collect the versions, this oh. is 
the latest edition. I'm just I'm just saying like you're get, you're going to get that and so much more. So uh you're you're in for a real treat with that. Yeah. But um but anyway, so all of that together and uh you know what people were telling me, I was just really like yeah. That that set me into Christmas in the best spirits possible. So thank you guys <laughs> totally. very much. So uh, I think this is actually going to be a extra long episode because I sure. want I want to talk some more about version four. Yeah, definitely. Because it did take not only did it take five years to make, and uh, and the response has been great, but s- some of the stories in version four. Yeah, those are things we've been holding on to for <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> decades, and yeah. I want to talk about just. <laughs> the writing process and everything that went into version four. Yeah. So specifically for, for people who out there who haven't seen version four, we're going to spoil a little bit of it. If sure. you've never seen versions one, two, and three, we're going to spoil a little bit of that as well. Um, Pac died at the end of version three. Mm-hmm. And going into version four, we really didn't know what we were going to do. Like, are we going to bring Pac back? Yeah. I know Rocco, you were very adamant. Like I hate when shows kill a character off at the end of a season. Yeah. And then the season starts and oh, they're back. Yeah. We really wanted to kind of avoid that if we could. That's funny because, yeah, I wasn't sure what you guys remembered of those first because the first time we sat down to write it was yeah. actually a long time ago. And I remember having the conversation. I, 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 you guys were kind of like on the team of like, we got to go on another adventure with these guys and you kind of have to have Pac there. Like in some way, mm. wouldn't that be interesting? And I was like, keep them dead. Like we kill, like, d- no, and I think I was, I think when we first started writing it, I was more in this mindset of like, when we return to these characters, it's, th- it's years later. They should, it should not resemble what it used to. Right. Like fucking, this should be like the dystopian version of mega 64. And then you guys were more on like, we need to have another adventure with these guys. And I kind of could see that as we talked about it more, it's like the way version three ended was very lore heavy and very uh, went down an unexpected path. But if you do that every time, it kind of loses its muster a little bit. And it's like, what if, wouldn't it be great if we could kind of get these guys back and go on more of a version one and two kind of adventure again, but in a more cinematic state, it was like, okay, well, what would it be? And then once we went down the road that it went down, it was like, all right, this would be a lot of fun. Sean, uh, what were you looking to put into version four when we first started? I have gone on the record about hating uh, the fact that we made Frankie and he by eating shit. I hated that. <laughs> hated that. And we wrote this thing out and it took a long time to write it. And we finally like, like, how do we, what do we do? And then finally it came to that. And it's like, I can't, we're doing it. And again. I remember Derek, you said, Sean, this is the only thing that makes sense. And it works. And I was like, ah, you're fucking right. God, I hated it. <laughs> but then like, by the end of filming this, I almost feel like it redeems that first episode in version three that I yeah. hated so much. Yeah. It makes it like, is a payoff that's way better. Yeah. And even when you flash back, when you see Nicole now, uh, and you, it flashes back to her. Oh yeah. Like everyone that I showed it to had this same, like, you know, seeing us young is one thing, Yeah. but having heard there too, I'm just like, Oh fuck. And she's, yeah. she's acting and dressed like so a younger young. person. But too. it's just like, how cool. It's How amazing, cool is this that we were able to pull yeah. this off? Yeah. You know? and, and I think that's what ended up selling selling me personally. I will, I'll just say on like when we had this general concept of it, you know, some people have seen it and I've heard this on the good side and a critical side too of like, you know, oh, it's full of uh, Mega 64 callbacks and references and the, references to this and that, whatever. And, you know, sometimes movies will lean on that or whatever. Mm-hmm. To me, what made this as fun as it was, as we had been away from those characters for a while that the further out we were, it was like, this is our, this is our moment to kind of just celebrate that world. Like (laughs) we really, it wasn't even done for other people as much as like us, like just wanting to like have fun again with each other and play with these things that all exist in this world. You know what I mean? And like it really, and it, and it only made the story more fun to us to like, play around in it. I don't know. I'm glad we were able to get Nicole. She so was her pregnant there, yeah. in yes. the middle of filming. There's actually yeah. a scene 
Uh, I believe it's the scene where she's explaining that we need to go save Sean. Yeah. Yes. Because Stephen King, where she's like extremely pregnant. That's why the shot is like here. Like, yeah. Like, well, you can see a wide he, shot uh, of her too. Yeah. yeah. And uh, hidden. Yeah. honestly, there was a point where I suggested like, let's just recast Nicole. Um, because I know an actress who kind of looks like Nicole, who's great. She does stunt work. She'd be perfect for the role. And you guys really fought me on that. And I think ultimately we made the right choice. I think you guys were right. It, it did help getting Nicole in there. Yeah. It, it added to delays of production and yeah. it limited what we were able to do with her because she yeah. was so extremely pregnant. Yeah. But yeah, I feel like what's really cool about version four and what I'm looking forward to now uh, moving forward with future things we would do is we have the ability to do like this really long term storytelling where we've been playing these characters for like 20 years. Yeah. And version four spans that same amount of time. Sometimes you'll watch a movie, you know, and 10 years will pass, but they'll pretend like, nope, yeah. it's the very next day. I think it's cool that version four, 10 years passed in real life and 10 years passed in the movie. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, yeah. And then we show up later and we are aged and we've had all these things happen to us. And I think we yeah. have an opportunity. Only now do I realize it, like moving forward, like what other film franchise can tell characters stories over decades in the way that Mega 64 has the opportunity yeah. to do it now? Yeah. I don't know. There's just really cool long-term storytelling opportunities that I realize now that version four is out all yeah. these callbacks that some people don't like i think well that's actually kind of what is so cool about mega 64 it's a low budget thing yes but it spans 20 years and the consistency is there yeah. and there's continuity yeah yeah, yeah there's continuity yeah. and, it, know, and cool. to us uh again it's like not for the sake of doing it either like again well uh, when we play those characters too and we, you know we, we we filmed version four Fairly similarly to how we did the old ones. I mean, we have way more advanced things, uh, ways of executing it now, but we still kind of like wrote it out as an outline and improvised a lot of the dialogue, you know, and stuff like that, like we right, used yeah, to. Yeah. And, and through that, we just make each other laugh. You know, um, we didn't have it written in the script that when Tim, when Tim plays a concert and again, Tim, that's a band that was brought up in version two, you know, right, but yeah. it just, to us, it made sense that that would be the, you know, the band they would go see here. It's, it's all, all in the same kind of world, but, uh, you know, it wasn't written in there that there, that the new Sean, like, uh, the fucking leopard head right. on a stick that wasn't written in there, but we make each other laugh. That was like, yo, okay. What was, this was on the stick, you know, or whatever that, <laughs> new you Sean. know, we, we, you know, we, it, again, it's just like, we just kind of live in this ecosystem of things that make us laugh and yeah. whatever. Um, but, yeah. uh, and sometimes, you say something on the spot that makes people laugh and then yeah. you watch it later. And you're like, that's really stupid. Yeah. Yes. So uh, Horatio does a hurricane Rana and he goes, DDP yoga, bitch. Yeah. And I'm like, why did I say DDP <laughs> yoga? I, in the moment, I was like, oh, that happened in the moment. Yeah. I learned this by doing DDP yoga. And then everybody yeah. laughed like, yeah, it's so funny. And then I'm like, that's so dumb. Like, I watched. <laughs> I was <laughs> actually going to tell you this. Uh, yeah. I, I watched the version four with Jenny and MM Beckett and they were all very impressed by your move. Yeah. Like, they're like, damn, Derek did a real I, stunt. Like I, everyone was like, I saw a thread everyone online was started. Impressed. Was that really Derek? That was did you. The, yeah. He did it. I had a lot of people ask me. <laughs> it was me, bitch. That was good. Uh, but to uh, Mason's credit, the stunt man who took that move, Mason and he's our D and D DM. Our by DM, the way. you've seen him our, before. Our dungeon yeah. master from yeah. Dungeons and Dragons and Trunks in our DBZ is video. a. Yeah amateur professional wrestler yeah he's been doing that for a long time that's how i met him a long time doing professional wrestling shows around here in san diego he said you should do a hurricane rana on me I and i said that. no way fucking way <laughs> yeah. yeah and he said in 10 minutes i will train you how to do it and he basically did that whole move himself he's like all you have to do is Swing your legs up around my neck and I will do the rest. And we practiced that, getting yeah. my legs around yeah. his head for 10 minutes. And then it was like, okay, let's do it. <laughs> and that was sick. It's, it's sick. a little sloppy. It's not the cleanest, but that was like 10 minutes of training. And yeah. then we filmed it. So not bad. Yeah. Not bad. But he did all the work. So I was working on something else. Uh, a little more behind the scenes. So we filmed most of this at another place and then we couldn't get that place back. So we had to film the fight scene in our studio 
So Garrett and I recreated as best we could yeah. that place with the arches. Like we made yeah. that out of like cardboard and it, like it's made out of paint. shipping material. Shipping material. Like go look like in the background really carefully. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh yeah. Some shots in are in the actual thing and then some are made with so shipping material. That was like a yeah, gigantic <laughs> poster too. You know what? And shit. I feel yeah. like I say we learned so much about making movies. Yeah. That's one of them. Yeah. We, yeah. we had a location. We booked it for a certain amount of time. The shoot ran long. We did not have the option to get the location again, but we found out and learned that we could rebuild the location in our own studio yeah. here yeah. and match it up. And that was an experimental thing that yeah. ended up being successful. But now moving forward, we have that trick yeah. in our bag. Yeah, I am that very was curious crazy. if people knew that we did that or if this is news to me. I don't know. If you, see, you, that, yeah. that's Because I, I can see it. That was know. like my big like, God, I do not know how this is going to look. Before we uh, even uh, started building that set, yeah. it's like, wow, we don't have that venue anymore and we can't get it back yeah, I'm looking at photos. Yeah, look at pictures. Kept looking at pictures. Kept at pictures video like, that we shot what are there? we gonna build this yeah. out of? That's cheaply. one of those things where like it, it took so long, but we learned so much, and now it's like I was well, happy as hell. Though, one, it. It, to do it all over again, I would book extra time at that venue. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. But two, if we ran out of time at that venue, we knew that we could rebuild it here, and so it wouldn't be like weeks of like, yeah. what, what the fuck are we gonna do? Gonna do? Yeah. The movie's ruined. It doesn't derail us for a month. Yeah, yeah. But just, yeah as I was gonna say though, I was fixing that. I think when the pillars fell down, I was fixing it, not knowing that you were training or anything. And then we hit said action. And then you did this fucking thing. And I couldn't believe what I fucking just yeah, saw. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Just, how did he do this? That it was blew crazy. Me away. It was awesome. Something you didn't know about. Me. I did not know. Fucking Lucha Brothers showed yeah, up. Sean was freaked I wasn't out. Ready. Uh, our, also, our good friend Fernando was there that day. Uh, yeah. Even though his character died in version three, he was still doing a lot of stunts in the oh, yeah. uh, electric five costumes and stuff like that. Uh, he did a great job. He was there that day and uh, helped out and was it was really great. And it's funny. I remember being here and he took me to the side for a second. And he's like, I just did motion capture on something you're going to play a video game you're going to play. And I wish I could tell you. I wish I could tell you. I'm like, what the? don't just drop that on me. What yeah. the hell? But he has since said it was God of War. Oh, really? He's, he's I didn't know that. He's done motion capture on the new God of War. The yeah. one that already came out? That we've no, it's not oh, out yet. Not out yet. There's oh, a shit. new God of War coming, and oh, wow. he uh, did oh, mocap wow. for him. I'll yeah. take this even further. Fernando is the, he's actually in the Frankie suit in the battle, the final battle. It's not me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's Fernando who does that yeah. drop kick. Yeah. And he's yeah. doing all the claws and stuff yeah. with uh, Stephen H. King. Fernando also choreographed the final scissors fight scene in the Jordan Peele movie. Um, get out, get out, right? No, no, us. no, no. Us. 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 Oh, that's the second one, right? Us, yeah. the second one. So, if you go back and watch that scissors fight scene wow. from us, yeah, that's choreographed by the same guy doing the fight in the finale of our movie. Same finale, damn. And I think the fights look pretty similar, yeah. I think we filmed ours a little bit better, to be honest. Uh, that also reminds me no, of. I'm just kidding. Oh. Jordan Peele did way better, but uh, still, yeah. still, same fight. Same, you got Tim same, Heidecker. Same to be choreographer. Uh, that that reminds me. This is a story I I've already said on at some conventions, but I've never said it on here. Now that everyone at home has seen it, I don't know if they want me to say. So I'm at, let's not say, but I don't know if they want me to say the name of the the museum that we filmed at. I won't I'm not say. sure. But it's in I've, the I've, movie. I've, yeah, yeah I've got I've gotten some mixed whatever on that. But oh, okay. But uh, the the museum that we were able to shoot in was really cool. Uh, we were able to shoot in uh, for the opening. Uh, I was there with the person who ran the place uh, as they were setting up a shot. And I was like, they were, have, they, have any other movies filmed here? Like, this is a, a great location. And they were like, yeah, yeah, Citizen Kane a long time ago. Uh, That's it. Oh, that, okay. <laughs> All right. So I've said this, I said this before, but I really hope there's a plaque on there soon. It got you know, in this location filmed Citizen Kane, Mega 64 version 4.1 Revenge Erection. Got to have that plaque. Yeah. At some point, I'll, I'll even, I want to contact them and say, yo, I'll pay for the plaque. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, <laughs> maybe put our name first. Yeah. And then yeah. smaller well, Citizen Kane. Sort my newest. You yeah. Know? Sure. Sure. <laughs> sort my newest. Yeah. yeah. But uh, uh, I got a kick out of that. So one of the criticisms I saw, actually let's get into a it. lot of, mm. Mm. was that the it. movie didn't have enough Garrett in it yeah uh garrett how'd Saw you that. how'd you feel about that saw those yeah. criticisms honestly let me let me say but here's the thing i didn't even think when we were making it i didn't even think that 
Which oh. I wish I, well, I we could have put you in the movie more. Well, he it just died. Yeah, yeah, I died. The character, the main character that I've played in the show, uh, dies in version three. Right. Yeah. And there are little hints, like um, with other version two episodes, where like you'd stick me in a hoodie and I'd be like, you right, know, yeah, uh, uh, <laughs> driving the car during the bicycle. Yeah, you yeah know, we couldn't scene. really show yeah. your face because there's, you played a main character who had died. Yeah, yet. there's yeah. there's been like sub characters, and even in this, like uh, during the Marcus hostage walkout scene, I'm at a computer working. You know, yeah, you, yeah. you don't notice, but you don't. I mean, me and you wore we're bodies. Those fucking electric five costumes a thousand times. Yeah, like we but, were. You know, but, but in the, the main past, thing we've had you played featured characters like you were Jesse the Man Snake, you were sure. Lobo Fuerte the the but, killer. Yeah, yeah so, but because the process of in, uh, elimination, you're really kind of the only main person that didn't get a role in this. Right. That's true. In, in That's true. Right. Yeah. So yeah. I, I, but I thought about it uh, coming up until the release. I even, I think I said to Sean, it's like, yo, I haven't seen the final cut. Like, yeah, I don't think I'm in it at all. And he's like, oh, no, 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 no. There's a flashback, like right up front, like you are in it. Yeah. Yeah. From version three stuff. And I was like, oh, well, that's all I need. Because <laughs> literally, like, I'm in every scene, my work is represented on every set or mm -hmm. in the background or the yeah. prop or the costume or whatever. Like that's me behind the scenes throughout the entire runtime. Yeah. Well, like, I think I, I'm there. You just got to look a little closer. Next oh, version yeah. project we do. Yeah. I don't know what it's going to be. Version five, version 4.2. I don't know what the number scheme is. We'll go, we'll go backwards. Version 3.9. Oh, prequel. 4.0 prequel. prequel. Whatever it is. <laughs> I feel like we need to come up with a new, Garrett centric character. Okay. I'm obviously I'm just okay. Garrett, the regular guy. Well, we always play two. He's been killed. That's true. We always do play two. Garrett Leader in, falls. Yeah. Yeah. With some makeup on, you're a whole new person. So that that yeah. is an oversight that we will correct. Do you like Eddie Murphy? You know, put me in a big fat suit. I'll do an accent, something. There well, is. Yeah. I'll play Rocco <laughs> well, Derek Sean. We'll just have you do Marcus. a classic Eddie Marcus. Murphy character. Version five <laughs> is just me as everyone. <laughs> there is you as Eddie Murphy. As yeah. Everyone. Oh, that'll be good. That'll go when right. uh, that might back in these characters again, and like you know, back in the costume, ever yeah. there is something about when I put that stupid puppet on my hand and my fingers fit into the grooves that my over yeah. the twenty years of doing that puppet, like my yeah. fingers just fit right in like a glove for me. Yeah. It, I I just I know I'm so happy we're able to do this again. Like I, it really is. Yeah. Like I'm finally it's out, but like. Every time like I'm laying down and I'm comfortable, my hands up like this, I'm doing the stupid Marcus thing. I'm like so happy that we're we're fucking doing it. So, so I don't want to I don't want to go for too long on this. Maybe we do another special podcast where we just go fully behind. I mean, the we'll we'll do the fucking we'll, we'll do a commentary commentary. On the yeah, as well. yeah. But I, do that I, soon. I will say, so yeah, Pac was dead at the end of version three to bring this back to the beginning of the conversation. Yeah. We kind of had to figure out what to do about that. We came up with all this stuff for the killer, Stephen King, Stephen H. King. Yeah. By the way, I always wanted to say his middle name was Hawk. Yeah. And we never, we never, we never said vocalized it. that in the, so behind <laughs> but BTS, it is, it is Hawk. behind the scenes, he's Stephen Hawk King. <laughs> we, we fought over that so much. We, I was that, like, that's it's true. implied. People know it's Hawk. And I'm like, no, they don't. You should say we it. We also uh, never officially say that when the. The henchmen are all together. They're the electric six. <laughs> but, I, no, but I did see people but, figure that out. But that joke people is great on its out. own. They're, you're the electric five. You lost a member. You lost a member. The five. So we have I, the killers and now we have the electric six. A couple That's sharp funny. viewers online did piece <laughs> oh, that Oh, they did? Together. I didn't see that. Yeah, okay, I saw that. Okay, but I, I got that joke, but I just got the Stephen, Stephen Hawk King. Hawk King. You see? Yeah. I just Do you see that? He didn't get it. He didn't get it. Johnny, did the chat get it? No one got it in the chat. Steve. Oh my God. I'm I just dying. thought it was funny. I was like, they picked see, Stephen King. We argued name. for Stephen days King. about this Stephen gag. King. Stephen <laughs> H. King. What do you not get about he talks that? Because like, computer. computer. It could be anything. I did what, not put it together. What else would it be? <laughs> well, you know, it's kind of a funny story. It's funny that it's But you see it spelled out. Some, Stephen H. Some. King. Rocco, the people have spoken. They didn't get it. All right. not, well, his middle name is Hawk. I like that. <laughs> but that's deep lore. It's this deep is lore. off the topic I wanted to say was the middle part of the movie, the Tim concert. Yeah. <laughs> that is a story. That is an episode idea we have had for Ye years. Yes. 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 Yeah. Years. I mean, yeah, decades. Decades. <laughs> I, like version two. 
Yeah. Dr. Pac was going to get backstage passes to a <laughs> Tim concert. Yeah. And he was going to hang out with them while they did drugs yes. and try to talk video games. That to might be a, funny a, a group scene. of guys that, who do not care. That's yeah. seriously probably in like notepads we have from like seriously like 2005. <laughs> yeah, seriously. seriously. Well, we were finally able to work that into the screenplay. It was like, gentlemen, <laughs> we <laughs> finally <laughs> done it. Yeah. Yeah. Years Holiday. in the making. And, yeah. and the scene is probably my favorite scene in the whole movie. I love that scene. Same. It is so funny. I think the whole thing is great. Even when like they all get killed. Great then, cameo from Aaron. <laughs> yeah. And Matt Matt is great. yeah. The them doing drugs and then you just like, so who wants to know what I do? Yeah. Like that is like, <laughs> <laughs> By the way, this got muddled in the delivery. I don't think people pick this up. Mm. But uh the band the band comes in, they're arguing, and they go, Enough of this. Let's do some drugs. Let's do some beans. Yeah, I did all, hear that. It's a little detail. Look closely in that scene. All the drugs in that scene are little baggies full of beans. Like <laughs> yeah. pinto beans it and lima like rice. beans. Yeah. They're just bags of beans and rice. And <laughs> yeah. the, the, you see one guy snorting powder, which you assume is cocaine. But we were thinking, like, what are these drugs going to do? How are we going to make it drugs? We're like, just put a bunch of beans in bags <laughs> and have it be a drug called beans. <laughs> So he goes, let's do some beans. I, I just think that's funny. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people miss that out uh, there. One joke that makes me, I don't know what it is. It's not even really that funny. And then every time I see it, I <laughs> like, I, I don't often, you know, we watch our stuff enough in editing. That's like, I'm not laughing at our own thing anymore. Yeah. Right. But th I do every time is Kevin delivering the package oh, yeah. that Marcus has snuck himself <laughs> into. And for postage, he just taped a dollar. <laughs> To the corner. It's it's just postage hey. arrow to a dollar. And then Kevin goes, that's for me. Literally. <laughs> that makes me Honestly, laugh every time. I think that was like the first thing we filmed for version four. It, one, of, <laughs> like, one of the like earlier not, ones. Not in yeah. the dungeon, like on yeah. location. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, where we had to get a location. That was like the first thing we filmed. Yeah. And you laughed the day one we filmed it and you've laughed every, every single every day time. since. <laughs> every, there's me. there's like only a few things I could point to that's in our videos where I actually laugh every time. Even now, like, because again, once you edit it, you watch it 300 times. It's yeah, not funny anymore. But there's some things that have survived. That is one. End of our first DBZ video we did where it was a fake trailer. <laughs> Mr. Goku. <laughs> Eric being Neo <laughs> saying Mr. Goku, I'll, I will never not laugh. At, you could, it's like a jingling keys in front of a baby's face. How they laugh a bunch of times. Like it's, I will laugh at that every time. Yeah. Um, and then uh, uh, Barry from Pennsylvania, the guy who shakes your oh. hand in the Final Fantasy video. Yeah, those are three things I I smile every time. Anyway, um, what's those up? Are good. No, no. Uh, for me, and it's I laugh every time. Is uh, you tell the police officers your name, shitty name. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh the, oh yeah! The buckwheat, buckwheat growth, 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 yeah. buckwheat growth, and in, in general, their whole bit, yeah, yeah. So all good. day was killing me. Shitty name, shitty name. Uh, I laugh at that, and I laugh at they when they uh, they book him to go to put him in the cell, and you just hear him under his breath. I'm gonna do some crazy ass shit to <laughs> yeah, you. That's good. Oh oh yeah. and oh and of course, all civilians get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Sorry, lady, you're gonna yeah. have to solve your own crime. So we filmed that. Sorry, quoting um, our own stuff. again. First time we'd ever found a location like that, like a soundstage yeah. Yeah. Was with sick. a police station. That they, place. They had all kinds of crazy sets. They had like the interior of an airplane. And yeah. then a hospital too. Hospital set. We're filming there and I'm supposed to escape from the rooftop of this police station. Mm. All right. Well, they don't have a rooftop we can film at. Yeah. So then we had to finish that scene. Where do we film it? For years, we didn't know. And then we <laughs> moved into this studio yeah. and it had rooftop access. And Holy it was like, shit. well, shit. <laughs> now we can finish that scene. Yeah. Which is just another example of things that we would probably do better now. But yes. just, I, you know, we, we, yeah, we I'll say it time warehouses. and again. We learned I, a lot. I just feel like you look at the whole thing and like, you know, again, I'm not apologizing for anything. We wouldn't, when we wrote the script, we didn't know where we're going to do the fucking concert. I don't know. And then, like, we moved into this place, and it's like, oh, we can do the concert in our studio. Yeah. Yeah. That works. That worked out amazing. Which, and by the great. way, I want to point out, maybe if you're not a filmmaker, you didn't notice this. That's a single take shot yeah. from the face of new Sean all the way up into the green room to yeah. Rocco. Uh, Pac it and actually Horatio. went a little longer because it was that, and then, went, then it went over to Aaron in the same Well, it cuts. Shot. Yeah. It cuts to go back to Aaron. But yeah, but yeah, because what you were originally. saying, originally it was all going to be a single take, yeah. but... 
That's some Scorsese shit. I'm yeah. proud of that. That took that, us that so cool. long there to were figure a lot out. Of takes. That was Frank starting with the camera and then passing up to me on the balcony and I would grab it and it was a whole fucking Wasted thing. Wasted way too much time figuring so it out. So much time. Oh my God. Cool, so. That yeah. Yeah, um, did look cool. Well, I'll go into that in the commentary. I had some thoughts on that, but yes. Yeah, the, the concert thing. Yeah, it worked out good here. Uh, there, was a, there was a point where I was trying to get us to... Uh, film the concert part at the they don't have it anymore the youtube space yeah mm. they used to have a big a big studio for youtubers where if you had a certain amount of subscribers and whatever that they would let you you could rent the time and they would just let you use it for free and i went to like a couple seminars to like yo you have to sit through this program to train yourself to use stuff here and then you could book time oh. and then i went through all that and then they were like okay so anything you film here we have to approve the whole thing I'm and I'm like what so what like you, yeah we have to watch the whole video and make sure it's good and that you you know oh, like fuck. we have to approve every part of it and it's like well no I want to film something here that's part of like a, a hour or maybe two I don't I didn't know how long it was going to be at the time right uh production you know you have to approve all of that yes oh I don't want Google to go th comb through version four and go oh we don't like this nah, thanks. so See ya. And then they closed. So that was that. Yeah. But there was a moment it was going to be yeah. there, but we moved in here. And it Anyways, worked out so my perfect. point is, is yeah. that it did take five years, but maybe it had to because a lot of these things wouldn't have lined up. the way. I mean, it just worked out. Yeah. As you know, it, it worked. Yeah. It ended up being uh, like the film school we always avoided. We ended up going through. You know yeah, what I mean? We like it. we, it, you know, uh, it, it, it trained us on so many and things. And we promised people we'd put it out for free. Was that the smartest or best thing to do? Honestly? Yes. I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Did we fuck that up? Maybe. <laughs> but it's a promise that we made to everybody yeah. watching this show, everybody who supported us yeah. and kickstarted our, our Patreon and has supported us on this crazy adventure yeah. that we've been on. So, you know, smart or not, we did it. Yeah. yeah. So does, is it getting a lot of views? Do I wish it had more views? Neat. Sure. I wish it had more views. Yeah. So but send it to your friends. Yeah. We we kept a promise. And so the positivity, the positive response, I'm I'm really happy about that. Yeah. So yeah. it really no was, regrets. I don't know how long this podcast is going to be, but it really was that right off of the 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 tour. Yeah. Oh and God. I just felt like we ended the year with Todd and Aaron, and it was like we I don't think we ever worked so hard. It yeah. really was Dude, like Christmas cast. You forget too. Yeah, it tour, was tour. Christmas it cast. It was like Hellfest four. tour, uh, Thanksgiving, Comic Con, Black Friday oh, tour God. again, version four, you know, Christmas cast version four. Yeah. Todd and Aaron. Well, and, honestly, yeah. I'm loving it. I'm loving life. I feel like Mega sixty four is kicking ass. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, coming off of the tour. Having Christmas cast be super fun, having version four be received so well, and having Todd and Aaron do Iron Man numbers, I'm very excited Ooh. for the coming year. Yeah. To keep the momentum going and to keep it growing is yeah. what I want to do. And and regardless of anything else, you what you were talking about, like, you know, is it is it the best business rationale to release a movie for free like yeah, that I don't or know. this or that? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, whatever. The for me, all I'm looking at it is we we made a movie and like I mean, didn't lose a dime making it like mm -hmm. it was yeah you guys funded that and it came you know what i mean it was like like the, it, it wasn't like ooh, we put our neck on the line to make this thing and i don't know what the fate of it is it's like no like that like yeah we, we you guys made that possible to, I'm, it, I'm gonna you know? rephrase what i think yeah. you're saying we made a movie and we didn't go out of business making no. a movie. Yeah. A lot of people make a movie and they're done. Y yeah. And it's like they got to make something work with it or they're fucked. We're not in that position. We made that. And and seriously, our first thing when it was over was like, all right, cool. What's the next one we're going to do? Okay, cool. It wasn't like, oh, how are we? What are we going to do next? And, yeah. you know, it, it really was like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm down to like do an even better thing. The um, next one. I think we should change gears real quick and talk about Todd and Aaron. Yeah, it sure. did come out. Some people are saying it's the best Todd and Aaron but, we've whoa. ever done. By the you way, before so. but I do want to say before we get into it, okay. Sean did offer to edit the podcast this week. I want to say thank you again. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. No. Yeah. We're Johnny, gonna, though, insisted that he do it. So oh, I, I'm happy to no, offer that. I'm okay. Mixed this signals. is going to be an extra fun size episode, but we're not going to go for too much longer. No, no, no. We'll go as long as you want. Todd and Aaron <laughs> this year. All right. Last year was probably the hardest year ever to do Todd and Aaron because yes. obviously 2020 sucked. There yeah. was not a lot to like 
who wants to everybody wants to laugh but what are we gonna laugh at yeah can i say on that note yeah that those i always have a good time doing the todd and aaron videos every now and then there's a year where i'm like ugh, like because it's like it's it's weird but the more the most fucked up years actually aren't the most fun to do it. People oh, think like, terrible. people think, oh, you, Todd Aaron's going to be a blast this year because this horrible election, this uh, pandemic that happened, this thing, this thing, it's like, yeah, these are all like the expected jokes and they're all miserable and they're all, uh, you know what I mean? They're SNL's more, they're done more, it to death. They're more fun to do it on years where there's things that happen that you kind of forget about. Yeah. yeah. You know, um, you know. And I feel like this year had a lot of things that were ripe for, for making fun of that yeah. people did forget. I think yeah. just so much happened this year yeah. that to you me, couldn't remember the all the perfect of it. joke for a Todd and Aaron video is the Suez Canal one. Yeah. Because exactly. to me, it's like no one remembered that happened, but yeah. it fucked everything up. Yeah, it fucked the year up. It fucked the year up, and people kind of forgot about it. Yeah. And that to me is like, that, this is perfect. No one died. Exactly. <laughs> and it's, you know, like, it, I, I love that one. Yeah. But I, I just remember last year really feeling kind of, we were in the midst too of like our whole Evangelion thing. Like, oh. we finished one video and still had to do the second one. So we were in the middle of that. And then it was all just like, yeah, oh, you got to make fun of what happened with Trump. You got to make fun of Biden. You got to make fun of uh, COVID. It was like, oh, man. It, it just, I remember not feeling in the zone that year. But this year, I had a blast. And we made fun of all those things this year. <laughs> yeah. So you just give it but an extra year. the pressure was off. And it yeah. becomes ripe. Yeah. Um, it was fun. Yeah. I had a blast. I feel like even when we were on our tour, we were talking about these jokes. I was keeping like a list on my phone. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. This would be good. That would yeah. be good. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't want to get too much into the nitty gritty of how we write it because we've just been doing it for so long. I feel like we've kind of just gotten into a flow. Mm -hmm. But I did. I was scared going into this year. Like people are going to get sick of Todd and Aaron. Like okay. people are going to think this bit is old or we're old or this is just passe. Uh. And I was blown away. People, that people were thirsty for it. People this year. were yeah. saying, <laughs> literally, <laughs> this is the best one you've ever done. How, after 12 or 13 or however many years, you're better than ever. I was just so touched. I was like, oh my God, yeah. people, people really like us. Yeah. This is great. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah, people were really sweet to me too about it. I, 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 and again, that's another one where I upload it. It's like, cool, everyone will fucking hate yeah. me for what I said during this video. And it was just like, oh, thank you, God. You, you but I think this, this is, like, is oh, the one okay. time where like you, they're clearly the worst people. Those yeah. two characters. So like, yeah. we are not saying, we do no, not condone anything that Todd and Aaron emu say. Emulating the horrible people that we right. heard there, from Yeah, I think there's a layer. I think different people experience Todd and Aaron on different levels. And yeah. some people are fully dialed into the level that we are on, yeah. which is Todd and Aaron existing is the joke. Yeah. Just the character that these guys are <laughs> yeah. is in and of itself satire. Yeah. Right. But then there's people who don't get that and they just get it on a lesser level of this is what these guys think. And these sometimes guys. they get offended by what Todd and Aaron say. <laughs> yeah. Because they take it at face value. Like, right. I can't believe these guys believe this. Yeah, but yeah. It goes deeper than that. So. Yeah. Um, um, but, but yeah, no, what were going to say? You know, either way, though, I, I had a lot of fun doing this one. It was like, I was like eager to. Yeah. Um, I was going to say, I was going to get into the controversial joke this year. We make a joke about Kyle Rittenhouse, mm -hmm. which is very polarizing. Yeah. Sure. And I understand why. But. <laughs> How do you not? <laughs> Dude. We said the guy doesn't like sour candy. <laughs> yeah. And to me, that is the funniest. That is Todd and, and Aaron in a nutshell because it's a non-statement. And, yeah, and I feel like just broaching the subject has offended people. And it's like, were you mad that we said sour candy? I, I actually, yeah, I got a handful of like the angriest maybe uh, uh, messages I've ever yeah. gotten Shakespeare on Theater. a Todd and Aaron over that, mm. which was, whoa. Too far. It was like yeah. we said he's sucking on sour. But candy. I, I, Dude, yeah, I saw Tom people Gore criticizing heads. us like, wow, way to get political guys like shitting on us. But I'm like, but we make fun of Alec Baldwin, too, who is like on the other side. Yeah. Yeah. Todd and Aaron is just blanket bombing all of American culture. Yeah, it's it's the, it's the epitome. Well, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what it is, because I'm actually I'm going to tell a story people at home might not know. OK, I mentioned this at a lot. One of our live shows, but I never said this on the podcast. Mm. 
we almost lost Todd Nair in 2014. Oh, yeah. I, (laughs) over the course of our tour, found out it had been removed from YouTube. And I had to talk to YouTube directly and explain Todd and Aaron and what it was. And I ended up having to sit down and construct an essay on what is Todd and Aaron Mm -hmm. because uh, they took it down because of uh, alignment with uh, violent hate groups. Right. The joke was about so, ISIS. Well, <laughs> well, I was going to let people at home guess what the joke might have been. No, but yeah, it was, uh, I guess at one point. Sorry. Spoiler. I would guess it. No, it's okay. I guess at one point, Todd or Aaron, uh, you know, there was a certain group. He didn't quite understand what they were. And without further research, said he might want to hang out with them. Yeah, it um, is what it is. But I, it is what it is. But I, uh, I descri- I said, I typed in this thing to YouTube. I said, they are the example of the dangers of yelling while uninformed. Oh, These are the most smart. uninformed human beings, and it is e- exemplified by everything that they say. Are they they will yell an opinion without doing any of the research, mm-hmm. and that's that's how they started as characters. It was, right. uh, you know, this game should win. This game should win. I haven't really looked into it, but, the, you know, it's just... Oh, and the, and, the uh, video game stuff, I feel like, is just... Being susceptible to marketing. I <laughs> yeah, feel like yeah. they just repeat what <laughs> commercials say. Yeah. Ca- Call of Duty is the greatest game of the year. Yeah, yeah. So so anyway, whatever. I explained all that to YouTube, and they they actually swiftly responded and said, yeah, you're right. Nice. Video's back. So Thank you. we have Todd and Aaron 2014 back again. And, YouTube uh, himself was an example of people taking it at face value, not realizing. Yeah, there you go. It, it was a joke. <laughs> Yeah. Either, uh, either a person or an al- algorithm. Uh, yeah, who knows? Well, yeah. Sure. Hey, who knows if, what it was. I'm sorry if Todd and Aaron offended you, uh, but don't take it personally. Let me let we me say this. Todd and Aaron offends everybody. Yeah, Todd and Aaron also offends me. They're so offensive. I, yeah, I, it offends me too. Half the there, shit I, I mean, there are so many times that we do something and go, oh, fuck you. Oh, why did, why did I just say that? <laughs> oh my God, don't <laughs> use that. Why did I say that? You know, like, yeah. Because you try to tap into the worst thing you could possibly think of, and you just keep going and going, and then you yeah. watch it back like, oh, fuck. I didn't remember, I don't remember saying that. <laughs> but I, I think it feels like, you know, um, I think sometimes you just want to have that feeling of, ah, these guys are fucking idiots. I'm not. Yeah. These guys are fucking idiots. Todd and Aaron gives people that, re- that serotonin release. Yeah. yeah. And uh, for me, the highlight this year, every, uh, you know, one of the hardest parts a lot of times there's, you know, oh, a thousand things happen in the year and we'll come up with jokes quickly. Like, oh, barely even need to write. Say this, 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 and this. Oh, yeah, we're good. But the ending will always be difficult. Oh, where it's like, ending. what do we end it on? Is it something relevant or is it something weird? Is it something, you know, sometimes you sit there for two days, you don't come up with anything, and then someone just says, I don't know, what if they're the Simpsons and we just do the fucking opening of the Simpsons? <laughs> and then it turns out great. Yeah. Some years, My favorite. Not, you know, it might not be as good, you know, whatever, or it takes forever. This year, I was so happy because we barely even talked about it. We came up with all the awards. Oh, man, what do we do for the ending? Derek just goes, I don't know. Why don't they just, why don't they say they solved racism? Yeah. What? Yeah, you know, they think they solved racism just by, you know, going up to people and be, saying like, hey, Stop being racist. Hey, and truth be okay. told, <laughs> that was it. The climate in America is so politicized that there yeah. was a moment of like, that's not going to fucking fly. Yeah. Like that's, we're just going to get bad footage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we had a backup plan. Like True. if the racism yeah. thing sucks, yeah. we'll do something about the matrix and it'll be like the Simpsons thing. We'll yeah. dress up as like Neo, Neo and, Morpheus and or probably whatever. not Morpheus. I do have the Morpheus coat. Okay, so we'll do Neo I and Morpheus. I can wear the coat. <laughs> but we went out and you guys just went up to people and went, hey, stop being racist. And that just triggered either an insanely positive response, an insanely negative response, or an insanely weird response. Yeah. It was like Mega 64 gold. Yeah. I remember we filmed for like 15 minutes and I was just like this. We have it. Yeah. This is the whole video. <laughs> and I it's feel so like it's awkward. been a long time since I felt this way about a Mega 64 out in public thing. Yeah. <laughs> We're doing so little and getting so much good reactions. Yeah. And, and, and to your, to that point, uh, Derek said something very profound when we were done filming and I have always thought this in my head, but it felt so good to hear somebody else say it. Derek said when we got back to the studio after filming, he was like, that's mega 64 right there. I was like, what? And he's like, 
doing the littlest thing and getting the weirdest <laughs> fucking reaction. Yeah. That's Mega 64. Because I was like, yes, it was. I agree. You, know, you go up and you <laughs> say, most, yeah. you guys didn't even have energy. No. no. It just had a little finger <laughs> like this. It went, hey, stop being racist. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> and it was either hell yeah, oh, I'll yeah. fuck up a racist. Yeah, fuck I'll fucking racism. kill him right now. Yeah. Or it was, eh. <sighs> I can't handle this right now. <laughs> you know, yeah. either way, Whoa, it was what like kind of a demons it, you got. No, it was like, yeah, okay, done. Yeah. But what? one guy did that, but <laughs> everything else was yeah. all over the spectrum. So it was great. I, I remember having that thought when we did, uh, like, not to bring it up again, but Sean, your Final Fantasy video where you're yeah. just saying hi to people. And a guy yeah. almost beat the shit out of you. And it was like, he's just saying say hello. Shouts out um, to the dude in that video who was like, yeah, hell yeah. He yeah. was the first guy we did it to. That's yeah. true. And we were nervous because I was like, is this going to fly? And yeah. he, per, me personally, made me feel so comfortable. Like, hey, yeah. we're going to get good reaction. I think he was a fan. I think he may, he may be watching I right think, now. I think. Kudos really. to you, I He was like into us. I think he knew what we were. Todd and Aaron. Yeah. Knew them. I wasn't sure with him, but there was someone later. Yeah. I, I don't think they're in the video, but there was someone later that when we were walking down the mall, he was like, oh shit, you're doing Todd and Aaron? Yeah. I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I think he posted a exciting. picture. He posted oh, a he picture did? on Twitter, I think, or something where we're like. Oh, I didn't, I didn't see it. Yeah. He posted um, it before the video came out. I was like, I don't know if I'm going to share that. Well, you can share it now, I guess. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I hated doing that ending. oh i can imagine I, I know i know you did i know that you know i'm just letting them know well well okay we put <laughs> so if but you're after not after that first reaction i felt like hey this is gonna be cool but you were still like um we could do the matrix right now <laughs> yeah, i got my costume ready for neo no i was uh, not into it we put some, if you're not on, by the way, everyone, if you want to join our Patreon, patreon.com slash mega 64, we always put tons of exclusive stuff on there. We got extra uh, jokes. Yeah. And so there, every year I like to put out uh, like jokes we didn't use, segments we didn't use in that year's Todd and Aaron video. That's up on our Patreon now. that were cut from the final. Edit. Yeah. And there's some extra footage from when we were out filming and it, oh. the what it ends with, you see literally i'm we're having a laughing fit after the guy we say stop being racist the guy goes now nah, i'm good yeah and I, I i give the camera the fucking don knots you know like whatever <laughs> and we're dying laughing and and then it dies down and sh you just hear sean going <laughs> can we please get the fuck out of here and just be done with it and then you hear me going i'm having fun <laughs> that's it right there that is yeah. that is filming out in public I, like it's i i told them when public. we when we ended that day i was like i genuinely enjoy you know if you're going out in a costume and you're doing something fucking i i, I take that or leave it but i would genuinely enjoy going out and having con weird conversations with people because i love just see, like what do people say to that like you know how, how are they going to take what you know not saying anything heinous just something like that yeah I, I really enjoy that experience and Sean's like hey, get the fuck out of here right now so <laughs> anyway if you want to see that footage it's on the PR. a lot of people said that Todd and Aaron was a yearly tradition for them I went back and looked all these videos from the past decade and beyond have yeah. like half a million views yeah mm. I didn't realize it'd become <clears throat> such a cultural institution for so many people out there yeah. so Thanks for watching yeah. Todd and Aaron. Thank yeah. you very much. Thanks for it was probably our most well, one of our most successful videos of the year. We did do Ava in five minutes That's this year. Right. Yeah. But we don't often get a response like the response we get to Todd and Aaron. And it yeah. feels good to know that there's an audience out there that's just hungry for It also yeah. makes content. me feel good that it's kind of, a, as you said, tradition for people. Like people spend their New Year's Eve looking forward to Todd and Aaron. Yeah. That's hilarious. That's and wild. like I saw some people, some channels, and they were like, million subscriber channels and they were like yeah fuck yeah i wait yeah. every year for this and it's like oh wait people like like yeah. big people care about this yeah. that's very nice that was I, really cool i said it already i at this moment the beginning of 2022 i feel so inspired like the yeah. movie came out yeah and now i want to make more movies todd and aaron came out and i want to make more skits for the show like yeah. i just want to do so much for mega 64 yeah. i'm excited for 2022 yeah. yeah this is the first podcast of the year yeah i think it's been a good podcast yeah, Extra I'm ready to long, end it personally. Baby. Yeah, I don't know. We honestly didn't even oh, get and, into and, the it, and to add on. Oh, I was just going to say to add on top of your th what you said, you're inspired to do more of those like the tour was a very long oh, and yeah. arduous road to, you know, to cross. But that was super fulfilling, too. I'm not exactly ready to go out on tour next week. No, 
But man, I would love to do that I'm, again sometime. I'm I was to, so uh, like to moved say by that. that I had yeah. fun on the tour is an understatement. Like yeah. I had yeah. a fucking blast, and every city we went to. I mean, a thousand things went wrong and certain things. And we had to like figure out, oh my God, yeah. we don't have a box. We have to make a thing out of like, it was chaotic and it was fucking hectic yeah. and it was stressful, but it was so much fun. Yeah, I it really was. loved it. talked with uh, Johnny about this on the Mega Strange podcast. We were reflecting on the tour. I think a lot of people out there wouldn't know this. The tour was successful. We, yeah. uh, we sold out a lot of shows. Yeah, and and we'd never done a tour of the country. It was a dream I've always had to do a road trip, right. which is something we talked about a lot. Yeah, uh, watched a lot of TV shows growing up in the '90s. There was always a road trip episode, and I'm like, yeah. man, it'd be so fun to drive across America. And then we finally did it. But to have the shows be so successful all over the country, and it was something that we created from nothing, from scratch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I feel like let's do more live events, mm-hmm. like. Let's like we were good. We were a success. So yeah. Yeah. that's just enough. Who knows? People keep yeah. people kept talking to us about game days. I would yeah. love to bring game days back. It's out of our control. I, yeah. I'm sure you can all understand that. But yeah. there's definitely some future where Mega 64 is doing live events. Yeah. I just feel yeah. like how could there not be? Exactly. Yeah. yeah, we we definitely saw, you know, this is behind the scenes for us or whatever, but uh we we work with a group that helps us put together this, you know, this tour and stuff like that. And uh, we talked with them and it was like, we saw like the growth we wanted to, you know, we did like a batch of shows in early 2020, which by the way is cracking me up that we timed that. So well. I know early 2020. Yeah. Great tour. And now the world shut down. Well, we timed that great. And then this year was the same thing where exactly. we did, we did our tour and then it yeah, ended. Back. Yeah. A lot of people canceling their tours. You know, the Omicron thing is like, Oh, we seriously well, we snuck right through time that well snuck again. In. But anyway, me bringing it up, it, it, the reason I'm bringing it up is, you know, we did kind of smaller shows that first time, kind of crept them up a little bigger this time. And all of it grew like we like we our shows did better. Like um, we I, you know, you just do you do so many cities. You think like, are we going to hit everyone that actually cares about this? Are we is that enough? But people really wanted to see it. It was like, there were even people who didn't weren't huge fans of ours that were like, I just heard this was a good show and I came, you know, and that just warms my heart and, and meeting everyone along the way too, was just really like meaningful too. I really enjoyed that. I got a lot of people talking before like, Oh, you're going to fucking hate each other by the end of this. Yeah. Every time they did, but that was seven days. This was, I think we had 31 days on the road, which is an insane thing to do. Yeah. And I, personally feel like we are closer than ever because of the tour. We went through oh, something yeah. that yeah. was so fun and cool together. Yeah. And I just, I, you know, it was just I, awesome. I had somebody tell me like, dude, but the, <clears throat> the fights just add up. Yeah, dude. Okay. The All fights? cards on the table. The fight, the one fight I can remember from this tour is I ate too many fucking pretzels. <laughs> it became a bit like that. That became like, uh, like Rocco, if you really, you're going to have another chocolate pretzel. That's the bi- that's the biggest thing over. I can put out. Like, um, I just think at this point too, we've done this long enough that we we didn't start our tour two years into doing Mega Sixty Four. We're that's like true. we're at this point we're older dudes and we've been doing this almost 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 twenty years. We're, yeah, we're this close, and yeah, yeah, been there, done that. Yeah, and it's like know. a married couple, <laughs> newlyweds. Yeah. Maybe you lock them in a house and they tear each other apart, but. Yeah, we've been around for ten years. We're sick of each other. We can, it, uh, yeah. It, it was just, it was such a. I mean, things that I thought I never we thought I, I would do, we did. Like all of a sudden, like I'm in fucking Dollywood. How did I get here? Yeah. Or like you know, and it's just if I, really what I would do, uh, if you haven't already, we did a podcast. We just walked around San Francisco, which was in a, a not planned podcast. We, no, that yeah. was so cool. That was just us hanging it out. Turned into that, and then it turned into a podcast. If you haven't watched that episode, that is like yeah. a really quick little window of what it was like for a second to be yeah. on the tour with us. Go, go watch that episode. We should like put do an annotation or whatever at the end of the episode too to link to that one. Yeah, because I feel uh, like that was a perfect summation of like we were just hanging out fucking around yeah. and we just did that in every city we went to and it was yeah. so much fun. Um, I also forgot we do have a 64 hour special that we should oh, talk yeah. about. Well, we, we talked about Todd and Aaron. Yes. Uh, we should. We're only going to do this. This is just one more quick 
we've we've made this available one time before. Ooh, we're doing one more time, and it's gone. Yeah, the iHeart Hot Mom shirt. Oh yeah. my is, god, is this is a uh, Mega Sixty Four shirt now. Yeah, <laughs> shop.mega64.com. Doing a sixty four hour special of that. It's up and gone. But if you, some people still want to own a that lot of classic. comments in that thing were saying, "Where I get that shirt?" Yeah, uh, so you know. we, now from us. Sorry. Shop. Uh, Whoever made that originally, is, Shop dot, we're yeah. taking that. Shop.mega64.com is the place to go. So pick that up. Um, uh, yeah. Hey, it's the end of the show. I wanted to do something here. It Christmas passed. We usually do a Christmas gift exchange. Mm. Oh, yeah. I didn't yeah. do it. We didn't do it. We didn't do it as a group. I have given you all the gift yes. individually. Very thoughtful. But I yeah. got everyone the same thing this year, and mm. I haven't given it to Garrett. Oh. I have it for him right here. Garrett. What? It's a Christmas oh. gift bag. <laughs> Because you're saying, uh, oh, it was very thoughtful, Sean. And I'm like, what'd you get? I didn't get it. <laughs> well, yes, I noticed did. that Rocco wow. gave Garrett a gift before the podcast started off yes, camera. He did. He yeah, because I gave everyone their Whoa. gifts already, but I didn't. Wait, yeah. so before you open this up, I want to explain. Oh, okay. This is a gift bag. I got one for everybody. I tried to fill wow. it with manly things. Sorry. Oh, yeah. But this is all manly stuff. All your recipients were men, so that you gave exactly, like a exactly. Manly. Whoa! Oh, and I put a personalized item in for everybody. That's the one for you. This is all. This is one of those uh, reaction. This is oh. the oh wow. I wanted the number to, of the beast, dude. We have a Super Seven store here in San Diego. Yeah, oh. I went yeah, down, down there and do a little sh Christmas shopping. Like I'll just pick up random stuff for everybody, and they yeah. have so many Iron Maiden figures. But it's always Eddie. This was the one thing where it's that's cool. That's great, the devil. That's sick. hell yeah. It's the beast. Dude, Super 7 started doing deluxe Power Rangers figures. Like, they do the reaction figures. Yeah. But they started doing, like, $55 oh, I saw deluxe those. figures. And uh, I have all of them pre-ordered, and I'm, like, losing wow. my mind. What's all that? right. Uh, that? We don't have a close-up camera. So this is yeah. now a, wow, I can't wait you to I try. Bet. Guy Fieri's oh, Guy shit. Fieri's hot sauce. If Kevin was here with the close up oh, camera, you'd you see get, Guy Fieri's oh, yeah. face. sweaty face on that they could barbecue sauce. They could, could see the it. hair. Sweaty That's all Fieri. You need. Yeah. Johnny, do a real digital zoom. Barbecue, Just to really blow that up. Smoky and sweet. Wow. And I'm not done. Derek, you no, outdid he, yourself. He, Went crazy. It was Whoa. so nice. A can of Zoa. Oh, that's dude. right. God. It's about drive. It's about power. Dude. We crush. We devour. That was one right? of the items that we searched for, or at least I was. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, relentlessly on our tour because stores around the country weren't carrying it. And then we finally found some, but Derek okay. found a secret stash. All right. Uh, All right. So this is unique. This is a, <laughs> this is a tube ahead. of fresh balls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so fresh, so dry. I just... So I'm looking for manly products for my oh. gift bag, and I'm like, oh, Zoa energy drink. Yeah. Oh, there's got to be something for your balls. And yeah. I found a, a product called Fresh balls. Fresh balls. I don't even know what it is. I think it's, I thought it was soap, but I'm I think try it's anti-chafing. Anti oh. Yeah. It's from Korea. It's, oh. called, it's called Fresh Balls. They have the Fresh Balls. What's that? I, oh, I use that stuff every day now. Oh, really? Johnny loves oh, it. Really? He loves Derek gave it to me as well. It fuck, it's oh, I'm awesome. putting it on my balls I, tonight. I, 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 gave gave every, I gave everybody uh, <laughs> the same gift bag, so, so Johnny got it first. It says that it is used to prevent wetness and uncomfortable uncomfortable feelings of being sweaty or sticky. Johnny, what oh, is Fresh nice. Balls exactly? It's like a uh, liquid talcum powder. Oh, no but shit. But like talcum powder always like makes my skin crack and that shit. Yeah, yeah. but not, it's bad for you. Oh, yeah. so you lather up your balls and then it, it right. turns into a powder. Okay, now we're cooking. Yeah, it's awesome. I like to okay, put I'm, a I'm in, I haven't used that the yet. Korean ball cream. Yeah. Okay, and then this is... Um, Since we're ooh, on the topic also, of your ooh, balls. My favorite YouTube pre-roll, uh, Dr. Squatch. Yeah. Soap. Okay. Hell yeah. That's the one, Derek, out of all the things, well, I did drink the Zoa Energy. It okay, did. nice. Hey, I drank nice. it during the editing of Todd and Aaron, and I was- I It was, comes through. I, I was awake all night. But Clean that soap, caffeine. I used that soap yesterday. You, I, you I smelled like good as fuck. Mm -hmm. Ooh, you still smell so good. I'm, I'll thank say you. it. Yeah. So Dr. Squatch did the it job. It smells good in here right now yeah, just good. from opening that. Yeah. And yeah. it's very on brand with the Mega Strange. Mm -hmm. yeah. Merry Christmas. Yeah, Thank you. Very nice. You're, Thank you're, you, you're, Santa Claus. Your mask a bag. Masculine energy in a bag. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've been a little toxically masculine, so... Well, you're going this overboard gonna, now. Yeah. Gonna go hey, now you're going to OD. Wait a minute. Yeah. yeah, I had I had to get I gave Garrett his gift today too because uh, it was uh, reported stolen uh, <laughs> and didn't arrive till now. Uh, I got him a, a, a set of engraved. Uh, Apple Air Tags. Yeah, those are awesome. And, uh, and the uh, fe uh, the uh, FedEx kept saying it was given to me, and it wasn't. And they had to do an investigation, in, in which they concluded 
Someone stole them. I didn't get Garrett anything. Wow. Wait so, a minute, wait a minute. You gave me a whole week alone with you here in the studio. That's yeah. true. Wow. Your presence was a present. That's true. Yeah. Okay. I ga- got gave, to spend quality I gave time. that to Garrett. Johnny was here too. He was kind of like a third wheel. Sorry, Johnny. <laughs> I'm going to say it. Yeah, that's you know, like funny. I had Johnny a lot of good. J- J- yeah, Johnny, I loved having you here. I, I loved having him here. He could keep an eye on us, but I, I like He the, kept saying, like, I'm going to edit. Time. And I'm like, hang out with us, Johnny. And he's yeah. like, no, nah, it's okay. I'm like, Johnny, come on, hang out. He, knew We're hanging. he was third wheel. He could see no. it in my eyes. Oh, because I was doing the opposite. I was like, please come save me from yeah. Garrett. But he, okay, I get it. I'm I like, Sean, help me hang this. I, help me mount this TV. Oh, yeah, get close to my butt again. Hold the ladder for me. I remember. Hold the ladder. Hold the ladder for me. Okay. It's a lot. Well, of that. it's a new Thanks, year. Gentlemen. This is the first podcast of the year. I think it's been a great one. Yeah. yeah. I think it's time to call it. I think I you're feel right. Like we should I, sign off. I'm I'm still technically on vacation. That's so true. the nice. moment the word cut is uttered, I'm back in bed watching JoJo's Bizarre. Yeah, Adventure. we haven't. <laughs> hey, this is the last thing I'll say about this. Yeah. Rocco worked every single day up until Todd and Aaron came out. I think it was like Hellfest oh, to yeah. then was zero days off for Rocco. Yeah. Zero days off for Rocco. Zero. And so he's like, I'm going to be gone for a couple of weeks. Like, yeah, take, take your time. Yeah, I'm still on vacation. So if anybody, you got beef with me, take it up with me fucking a couple of weeks. Because I don't care. Right now, yeah. I don't care. You'll I'll see care. him in April. I'll ca- yeah, I'll, I'll care in April. Yeah. Not Save today. The Where's the beef? Said the old lady because Rocco was gone. Yeah. Right. She's wondering where that beef is. All yeah. right. Cut. Oh, come on. Not the face.